Hello everyone, I'm Ladish and today I'm streaming here Backbone uh, for PC. Uh, so this game came out yesterday, it's developed by Eggnut and published by Half Fury. I played the... Uh, I think it was the demo or it was the prologue like two years ago or something like that. I played that one and I enjoyed a lot of course. It uh, Everyone knew that uh, it will take uh, long for the game to come out but uh, since uh, that prologue or them from two years ago or something like that but uh, now it's out uh, unfortunately the game doesn't have full screen uh, because uh, for, uh, they did have there was a dev on Steam Forms that explained why they didn't put but they can add on the future uh, but uh, unfortunately the reviews uh, it's a mix on Steam unfortunately I like because some people say it's short and other stuff other issues here and there but uh, like for when I played the prologue, you know, it looked cool for what it is, but I understand that they ask like 20 something uh, euros for, for hours. I understand that can be a little bit much, but uh, like if you saw, if you see the graphics and things like that, it's like, it looks interesting. But um, uh, They saw the one people say that like the dialogue, things like that. So act one, prologue. This our character over here, this uh, raccoon. And basically you are a detective that is going to try to solve a case, basically. And then probably uh, it expands throughout the, the story, that the case that you are trying to solve. Sorry, Mr. Carl. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Just enough time to clean up. <gasps> People say like voice acting will help uh, for the game. I will say yes to okay. Double S D R arrows E and tap to access. I will say yeah uh, that uh, probably it will help. Uh, you know voice acting, but at the same time don't forget voice acting. You need to pay uh, actors to uh, to give voice. Um, it is an indie company. Uh, it doesn't mean that they have a lot of um, money. To, to put into that, they want Fox more on story, gameplay, you know, music, so to pay to voice to voice actors to put their voice onto the game is not uh, that easy for any company. It's like some items you can drag, but I don't remember if there was someone over here or not. I think that was everything. Insurance fraud, stolen cars, strangers lovers should probably be in some of these old case files. Got it, Frank, it fix it when I have cash, so never. He doesn't have cash! Come on, buy soap, pay bills, don't die. Typical. Photochemicals. Living photo developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning or a great soup. Hard to get tired of this view. Place dishes. I'll watch this later, probably not. We can go and take a shit? No. Two great apes, two great story, it's well taught read. Of course. Okay, place not not this, I want to place the chemicals. Every know it's proper place, heh. <laughs> We open to me screen. Excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Lotter. We spoke on the phone. At your service, Miss Green. How is your day? Uh, truth to be told, my back's killing me. Pregnancy puts pressure on the spine, and please, all oh, that is fine. Uh, how can I help you? You can pass once you are free, and you you don't need to go like with the OSD or with mouse. You can please uh, press once you are free. And so uh, I understand this other thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband. You see. I'm listening. He hasn't been himself lately, getting home at odd hours, making weird excuses. You suspect he's cheating on you? I think so, but I'll need real proof, right? To get to the court. Court? Are you feeling for a divorce? That's right, and above all, I need something damn near enough that costly won't even be a question. A question. 
I can't take any chance. Uh, when did you realize he might be unfaithful? He was always a private kind of man. Now he's starting getting home late, missing work and smelling funny. What kind of smell? Like perfume or not mine. Alcohol, smoke and something poignant. A kind of herbal stink. He's keeping work. I got calls from his boss wondering if he was sick. I even covered for him. I'm so fed up with this. And you caught him lying? Well, it's just so bad that it wasn't much of a liar when we first met. Or at least I thought so. How late are we talking? Way past the kids' dinner time. I asked her what he was doing. It didn't go well. I can't see how it is permanent, Mr. Lotter. He threatened to take the kids? He has threatened to take them, yes. Daisy and Ella should have to go through all this. I'm doing what it takes to protect the future. I know this is it, but it's, it's right. Yes, I'm finally being brave, for them at least. Let's nail this bass, I'm taking the case. Sure, what do you need to know? What does he look like? Here's a photo, here's an, here's an author of course, he wears glass square ones and his wedding band as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase too and from work. Okay. Uh, where could I find him? Usually at work or at home, he never used to stop anywhere, now it's all the time. How would I pick him out of a crowd? He wears a suit to work, I pick up his green tie and a hat for him, so green. She's Jeremy Green, I think people at work call him Jess. Where does he work? At Wolf Bank on Greenfield. I'll write the others down for you. Uh, no, but he mentioned a few guys as they get together after work sometimes. I can give you a hundred now and fifty when you bring me the forge. Will that suffice? Yes. Plus any unexpected expense. Please be careful, nobody know, can know we spoke. If this gets out, I'm good as that. Okay, I, you can trust me. Don't let me know, Mr. Lord, I trust you with my life. Okay. New objective, track Jeremy Green. To Granville! That is the city. And if I'm not mistaken, this case is what's going to be the full story. If I'm not mistaken. I can be wrong, but I think it's like this. Becky Bruna. Uh, as you can see, like, Graph Quest looks beautiful. But I still can't understand why people criticize some aspects. I understand what they criticize. The criticism, I mean. Yeah, old man. Uh, take a photo at this. Uh, take a look at this photo. Nah, man, even if I had. Why would I tell you? How is your day? Just hang, what's up with you? I'm tracking someone for a case. Okay, now we are talking. What do you uh, Murder, arson? Uh, it's just missing. Man, that's not uh, Who's the chump? Okay, it doesn't tell me. All shift to run. Yeah, that, that, that's the typical. I knew it could run. Hey, if it is a Mr. Howie, what's a rascal like you up to on a fine even like this? Okay, looking for someone. You know I have a terrible memory for first, but hey, wanna hear your story? Sure. So my wife is Estrella and I blessed Shepard. We got the second line on the way. Ah, congratulations. Thanks. It's a big one too. As is run as a watermelon. Anyway, the story teller. Ha, woman, you get any big and I won't fit you in the trunk of the car. Okay. And so ah, uh, she turns to me with the eyes of a kid and says, "Give me the, give me the bread, on it. Oh boy, woman, man, woman, oh, woman, oh, Mrs. Kids, they love bread. So we break the news to our boy Victor. Son, you're gonna have a bro so soon, and he's like, "Oh no, a bro? What is it?" Then I ask what you told him. So I tell mama and papa work hard, so the apes let us have another baby, baby boy, just like you. Sure is, little Victor, poor soul starts laughing. Oh daddy, we are going to be so happy. Me and my and baby bro will play all the time. And I say, sure sir, but there is the catch. There's the catch, you and mama are gonna have to look after him because two babies mean zero daddies because daddy has to work four shifts instead of two. Haha. <laughs> well, that got depressing fast, you okay? I'll manage, I'll manage. 
Okay, it's the picture. Yeah, I seen him barrel of love kind of guy. Smells really bad. Took him back from the bite a couple of times. Did you ever talk? Did you match anything that seemed strange? No, he was too wa wasted to talk most of the time. He, he smelled did enough talking for both of us. Ooh, okay. He smell of what exactly? Yeah, you know, poopy kind of smell, stale booze, and perfume, herbs. Okay. Guess the bites are good as against as any. It's a goopy place to. Okay. So, on the bite. What's this? They did a great job starring the rogue. If people watch more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. Cocktails and a movie sounds like a great plan for the weekend. So you can watch many stuff over here. Oh, what the hell? You folks work at Wolf Bank. Yeah, why? Uh, take a look at this photo. The fuck, yes. Who are you? What's going on? I'm gonna say the second one. P.I., what did that ass hat do? Could you answer my question? I don't give a fuck about your question, and I sure hell I sell, don't talk to cops. I'm not a cop. P.I. stands for Private Investigator. Hey, chum, don't get excited, or are you looking for trouble? Are you? Because I could give it to you. Listen, Lumpy, better split before I wash your face right toe. Right uh, he doesn't gonna say nothing, because he thinks we are a cop. Oh, so here's the bite. Not as for the cones. Um, okay, I'm gonna say the third. I'm sure we can arrange something before what you need. Get me a personal invitation here by the great apes and I'll let you in. Uh, sure. You can go to the alley. Howard? Well, I'll be there. It's been a while. Whoa, Larry? The one and only. It's been too long. What's going on, old man? Ha! Who are you calling old, you old rascal? What's going on with you? I'm gonna say the second one. I'm happy for you. My own geek went downhill a while back. You live here now? Live? Have you seen how tough the crowd here is? No, I live at the bridge. It's really not as bad as it sounds. Can I help you in any way? Not really. Thank you, dog. Now, what's your deal? Have you seen another guy around here? What did he do? Awful things to his pregnant wife. Oh gosh, poor life. What's it like? Uh... We can show the photo, right? I think I'm gonna show the photo. I haven't seen him, sorry. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here often and hear people talk. I got the lead, but the boss won't let me into the bite. Tough break. It's really more a cat and dog crowd in there. You say your guy's an author? That's weird. What you could do is ask John. You'll know better than me. Who's John? It's Squirrel Kid with the leather jacket. That's in the beginning. Might take some coffees, but he's chill. I've seen him help, help people cut the line, his clients, I think. Your typical, like, hype and shatter fang. Oh, get this, he started rolling out something called a monkey butt. Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. Monkey butt? Yeah, what is new thing to shit? Top perhaps a bit less figurative than one might wish. Stanky thing. No first hand experience, but I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. Owners of Blood Wharf, so lots of room floating around the whole ordeal. Blood Wharf, the bear family? Graham family. Last year, the he head of the family up and died, and shit hit the fan. The hair ended up in the prison. What are the rumors? All kind of bullshit. How she's got an ape for a lover, or that she was the on one who got all the other killers so she could take over. Okay. Okay, I know you can't op enter over there yet. So it's that guy said if I could sign up uh, crouch mode control. Ah crap, down is on the OT in the buff up ahead. I can't deal with him right now. So you pass like this. But that guy said about uh, if I could sign up, get a, a book of the ape sign up. Is there a way to get it? Or because he knows that's impossible? Does this garbage bin? Let's see socks, takeaway box, six. Ha! A ticket to the bite. Thanks, trash bin. 
So did I got it? Oh shit, I got it. I got a ticket. Does it work? Front page tray, all great day parade preparation, the way the race starts. How's business? Well, you told me people want their damn news for free on them. Hawkers don't help any. Hawkers? You know, peddlers, they how they wreak the ass stands around, hassling folks and all with no permit. The police booth is right there. I try reporting that. By the time an office gets there, the hawkers are smoke. Then they nibble little legs. No permit means they can undercut honest business like myself. They are criminals. Okay. I thought this guy could give me like something about the you know the ape book, but no. So there is no way to get it, is it? Hmm. But I have a ticket, can I enter now that I have a ticket with uh, to the bite or do I need to get that guy in the beginning? Let me try. I have a ticket right here. What's this? Hi, you find a little fella. So can I get in? It's a dirty piece of paper you found in the dump, so, so no. But thanks for a good laugh. Wanna hear another joke? <laughs> I better not go fuck off. <laughs> Okay, so you are. Uh, you need to go to the to the beginning. You need to talk to this guy over here. Are you Johnny? Who's asking? Uh, my name is Wallace. What do you want, Waldo? I need to get into the bite. I'll bet you do, pal. But why should I care? I'm a dead matter. Get this inside that club. Listen, I heard it's the place to go for the good shit. You mean like the new school jazz or the great upholstery? I, th I think you know what exactly I'm doing. Yeah, right, get out of the old fart. Kid, I'm a, I'm, I know I'm being a boy, but I really need your help. Please, could you lend me a hand? What's in for Johnny? Uh, I'm a detective, my mark's in bite, all you want. You shitting me, prove it, punk. Look at me, I'm a raccoon in a French coat. Yeah, so all I see is a filthy trash mobster who drinks alone and cries over his dirty magazines every night. Probably lives with his mama too, and the trench coat is just the final pitiful cherry on top of a crab cake. Takes one to know one. I can't believe you are for real, what a riot, you know what, screw it. Meet me at the entrance, I'll get you in, I can't wait to hear what happens to you in there. Okay. I don't think there's a way for you to fail over there. I think. Here's Johnny. Uh, okay, hey Johnny, you bought my favorite Christmas stripper, you can come in, don't cause any trouble. Thanks, go inside. Okay. Not even with the ticket you could enter. Because you'll say it's uh, you get on the trash, basically. Renee? Well, you are unusual. I'll take that as a compliment. As you will. Thought it was a say. Henry Wilson. Howard Lotter. Hmm, that's a fake name. Oh, you are too young for Howard. Maybe you are giving to Maybe you are the one giving out fake names on your project onto me. Calling it that's a lie. And you'll have to say that no matter what name I gave. I'm gonna say this to you. You're quick. You are a wit. Guess that makes it even. Take my card. Investigative journalist, it's a living usually. Okay. Colby. Hey Deb, you here for Eden Simon's show too? I'm so happy to see your live finally. Uh, not quite, I'm quite I'm actually running a sort of errand. Well you shouldn't go out for the show, best performing city. Well, I'm probably a bit biased, but yeah, she's great. You sound like a big fan. I got a record player just for her. She mostly all I listen low. Have you been here before? Uh, nah. My mom doesn't approve of the place. I had to do a bit of sneaking to be here tonight. Uh, sounds like I'm gonna say the second one. Ah uh, well, you can only be sure if you stay for the old show. 
I'm gonna say it second. Which I could say, have you seen another gentleman tonight used photo? Let me think. I think I saw someone like that walking. Was his hat green? Oh yes, and so was his tie. I thought that was funny. Um, did you see where he went? He talked to the lady in the jade colored dress and then went upstairs, I think. Did he have a briefcase with him? I'm not sure, sorry. Okay. Uh, Lisa, I'm looking for someone. God, I love this music. Wanna dance with me? Uh, sorry, no. Uh, okay, so can you couple of answers? Uh, okay. She didn't even want it. Ingrid. Evening, sugar. Enjoy yourself. Uh, I'm gonna say, my friend is late. No touching. They have one. Jeremy, usually he like clockwork. May I've seen what this look like? Green tag. Sounds more like you're describing a wanted man. Why are you looking for him? For drinks. You could try asking the bartender or Miss Bloodworth. She Bloodworth, she's manager, the owner, she will know, she always does what she's like. She's by the bar, go ask yourself. Thanks for your time, Miss. Coming in great. I'm gonna say Howard. Mr. Howard, I hope you see you again. Could I buy you a drink? If you insist, what's your poison? Surprise me. I will try. How do I get the drink? I don't know. You look a little lost. I'm exactly where I need to be. How come I don't recognize you? Not at all on my car, we? Just trying something new for change. How's that working out? Pretty well, I'm enjoying conversation at least. The feeling is mutual. So to whom I, do I owe the pleasure? Uh, I'm Wallace, nice to meet you. Pleasure my well to Lee Wallace. Uh, nothing specific, just geeks here and there, whatever pays. A man of many talents. As for me, I'm Clay the Bald Wolf. I own the, the beat. Or the bite. Uh, allow me to say you got a very cozy place. If I would have known, I would have been more mindful of man. So I'm gonna say the second one. No need to stand on ceremony with me, darling. As you say, do you have any spe specialties here? Folks say that our chef special is to die for, but I pride myself on everything here by being equally special. So what brought you here tonight? Uh, I was looking for an author gentleman name of Jeremy Green. Know him? And you were just meeting him for a quiet drink? Yeah, we got a lot of catching up to do. Darling, I think you are lying to me. Why would I lie? be lying? Mr. Wallace, if that's your real name, playing coy clearly doesn't suit you and it's certainly not appropriate in my search. I suggest you to take your business elsewhere. I don't understand, what have I done? Sorry darling, that's how the world works, sometimes you don't understand things and they still happen to you. Perhaps we'll be seeing each other again, have a great night. Damn. I wonder if there's a way that you don't get expelled from the, the club. Like on the prologue I will get expelled too. I got kicked out. Oh, how do you manage that? I think I poked the bear. The bouncer? I met Clarissa Bloodworth. Oh man, what did you do? If she's upset, you better get used to watching your back. That's what I figured. How do I get back in debt? Now hold up, you say you didn't get into case like this anymore. And you told me you had no first hand experience with monkey bot, people don't change Larry, Larry, something is wrong and I need to find out. Yeah, I think that's the better one. Change I'll comment against it, but you do but you do Wait, what? But you do, do you? What? So, any other way seen? The truck over there just arrived and some fellows entered through the back door. Also, a forge coming from the roof, so they must have a, a door up there. Tell me about the back door. They have a little intercom box. You ring, they pick up, and if you are someone they expect, they buzz you in. Any clue how do you, or I could become someone they are expecting? No idea. Maybe they use some sort of a call. You are attacked, not me. Florence. Are you alright? Mm, fine, what's it to you anyway? Florence, right? I read it on the tag. Peace off, I told you, I'm not leaving till I get her back. Get who back? Are you looking for someone? Alright, Mike, make like you don't know, not fooling me. No, sir, I'm on to you. I'm not moving from this spot till you let me talk to my daughter. 
Are you looking for your daughter? I'm no fool, I know she's in there, but she doesn't want to talk to me. No, that's not. They won't let me see her. Is she at the bite? I'll keep an eye out of her if I manage to get in. You're not one of them thugs? No ma'am, I'm private detective or lotter. Nice to meeting you. The dad? I don't understand. Maybe we can help each other out. How? I need to find a way into that building. Can you help me? Maybe. I mean, not really. Try to call at the door, but then feel his slugs won't let me in. I just want to talk to her. What called? I memorize. Great fire than me. Look at the wrong scared. Let me in. My daughter's in that filthy. They won't let me talk to her. What she's doing in there? Kid says she's gonna make it all on her own. Lands herself in a warehouse. Stupid. Oh, they are drugging her. I know it. They won't let her see her own mother. My poor baby. I'll keep an eye out of her if I get in. What does she look like? Grey 4, name's Rosie. Rose? The drives are not when I call her Rosie. Just turned 20. If they have a single whisker on my baby face, I swear I'm gonna burn this hive to the ground. She's my baby. I know she, the, where she is. I can sense it. When did you last see her? Two or three weeks ago, we had a fight. Told me she was waitressing, but I asked around this whole serves drugs and, and sleaze. So you thought about her job at the bite and that was last time you saw her? What about it? No. Okay. Truck breaking. Open the compartment. Get through the uh, newspapers. Two newspapers for September and October. They don't look like anyone was reading through them. Epidemic continues. Kids may be spreading disease. Vicious wall attack leaves three defenders wounded, one dead. Look at the invoice. They all measure company calls, styling side limited purchasing, unnamed goods from Byte Fools LLC. The most recent purchase is supposed to be happening today. It's a voice recording device hardwired into a truck dashboard, probably set for surveillance. You might be able to print out recordings if you went to great dates. Got free package for you. She's damn you. I can't feed them in. We expect you two hours ago. Continue being a ass and I'll leave. We have five packages ready for you. Pick up. Free is all I can feed. Okay. So now you can use over here. Well, she said this one and it wouldn't work. So. Ready to load. Hey, sorry, can you buzz me in? Whatever, we got one package today. Prepare them for loading now. Fuck. Great, ready to load. Come in and wait in the laundry. I'll bring them over once they are ready. Okay. That's how you went. I know in the prologue I went up. Because there's another up on the roof that you can go. And then you, and then you will come over here if I'm not mistaken. second floor now I know this part I want to see if I can find that girl but it's not going to be easy a dressing room thanks Shepard it's empty okay not turning back so uh, army only for you T mom swears me by it Greg who's Craig nice fella come on Howard you can do this you are doing fine Nothing pops in the mouth like pops candy. Happy birth, Rose. I hope you. I hope they gave you a day off. Margaret Moore uh, is everywhere right now. Fiercely, not really my type. Nice rapid gift. Mine usually come in recycled newspaper. Can you do something? No. There's stairs over there. Amis can't hear you when you are crouched and don't see you behind dark objects. So like this they can see me. Shit. 
shit, this rat over here. I don't know if he's gonna turn around or not. Yeah, it's gonna turn. Now I know you can go is in this one over here, but I want to see if I can find Rosie. No, you can't enter on this one, okay. Damn, did I miss him? Maybe he left something behind that could help or that. Green hat, a green hat. Green must have been here. Now, where the rest of him? Is this monkey butt? It really does stink like a butt. There's a green tie stuck behind the frame. How did you get there? What? A secret lift? I think I could squeeze into it. Not that I particularly want to, but I can't afford to be big. But how the hell you, then is Rosie? I thought it would be in that room, but it isn't. Hmm. Probably can't find it yet. There's a grim looking for us, what they are running there. Looks like guests of the bite are eating well. Greg, the inventory was off again. If I catch you still in full, I'll chop off your grabby little fingers. Boy speak, hey boy, Greg, are you stuck in the freezer again? Yes. Call the kitchen, someone will uh, get you. Kitchen. Yo, it's kitchen, what do you need? If that's Greg, no, I'm not making you a snack. Uh, you suck. I know, you pass over here. Because I remember this from the prologue. Like that, that guy is going over there. Now you use the mixer. Like this, this guy moves over here, and you can pass. Don't lose that one because if not, it's coming towards you. Some kind of a locker room. Better keep moving. The turn key is missing again. It had better be here when I get back. Okay, so this is that code. Uh, so you want to put this one over here? I'm gonna put this one over here. Card. Boom. This one here. Put this one over here. This one needs to be here. Take out this thing out of here because you need to say, see this. And this one is over here. So, uh, square. Square is this one I need to put at the better position. So square zero circle four uh diamond five triangle one so zero four five one zero four five one zero four five one zero four. There we go. I remember that from the prologue. How it will how it will work. It's so cold down here. Where are the lights? Who needs lights? Oh my fucking what? It's a naked head hotter. What the fuck? This jet screen, I found him. Try uh, a certain the cause of death. The boy shows no ob obvious signs of violent death. It's just a naked dead, slightly overweight author. Maybe they overdose him? The boy lies there still. It is there, dead, probably more recently. What in the living fuck am I standing here for? Somebody's coming, oh shit. Height. That's right. This case become even darker. Because the author now is dead. Go. 
Craig here. No, I'm still working on a cut. <sighs> okay, comic. But I still don't know how you can get to Rosie or Rose, whatever you want to call it. Sorry, Chess. Even you didn't serve this. Nobody does. The turnkey, maybe I'll make it out alive. Does it something happen over here when you are trying to escape? I don't remember now on Prolong, the final part. Now you will still lift if I'm not mistaken because you don't want to stay over here. Escape. But the problem is that you don't find Rose, that's the problem. It's like... Ugh. Is it even possible to find Rose? I think the only chance if, is if I went to the front door. Right? Because up there there was nothing. Only if you had to go from the roof, uh, you could find her. And not through the back door, it could have been that. I don't remember. At least I was able to find her. Act 2 connection. Fuck, fuck, fuck. They were butchering him to dispose of the body or something worse than that. Is the bite serving people's flesh? They were spamming cops and putting them into box. I've heard stories about ritualistic cannibalism in the past. Fuck! Oh no, don't don't remember the smell. Focus on the alcohol. What what the fuck am I going to do? This is so fucked. What I'm going to tell uh, to all that? How about the truth? No, I'm, I think I'm gonna say, like, tell her he ran off with someone. At least you'll never see him again. The two might be too harsh, drag it out. No, I'm gonna. I'm just, I'll just call her and wing it. Maybe it's what bad that that is gone. I have a duty to do something, but what the fuck can I do on my own? I have to stop someone else being butchered like that. This is my chance to do something meaningful. I don't want to spend my life snapping cheaters and finding stolen watch. I also don't want to die. Yeah, I just don't want to be alive sometimes. Fuck, I wish someone will tell me what to do. No one will get it anyway. I have to wing it by myself like always. I have to stop anyone else being much like that. Great idea. Just that Lisa blow up nicely. I'm sure she will understand my concern. I could go back get some evidence, yeah. I was lucky to make it out alive at the first time. I'm not going back in there. I can't. But it's worth the risk. I should tell the police now. Why Chess? What did he do? Could he have been in the wrong place at the wrong time? What if he's not the first? How many people has Bloodworth killed? This guy seemed like a harmless loser. In any case, what could you do to deserve being butchered? Impossible to know for sure. Maybe I don't know even what to know. Should tell the police. Is that really going to work? Nah, Bloodworth probably has some sort of immunity. No way she's doing something like this without someone I up covering for her, of course. I, I broke into private property and I like to report the butchering. They will probably arrest me for the spas and ignore the rest. The past that hate on several murders, they will bury the case in red tape, yeah. They will just arrest me and earn a favor from Bloodworth for free, no thanks. So the police are out of question. Think out, think! Why me? Fuck this. Maybe if I drink enough, I'll forget about it. I'm a fucking coward. He's like, oh shit, no alcohol. He's like, get together. Get together, man. Fuck. Fuck this. Figure what to do with my life. 
Someone has been using this as a public toilet, not sure if the Bitcoin will help. Okay, what the fuck? The burning park. What do these symbols mean? They look liberal, not mindless vandalism. The great fire was before my parents' time. Burn up bridge, whole districts destroying the war. Shit, maybe it's up to burn. I feel with with the tail chopped off. Weird. Can you do something? Guess I'll die here, bonfire. Lune. You really neck that choice, friend, though. Rough night? Rougher than yours. I'm not going anywhere. Tell me about it. You wouldn't, you wouldn't understand. I'd, and I don't need to, I guess. How can you be so chill when the world is so fucked? Always, always has been, eh? But welcome to Kyle, I guess. Can I, can I ask you something? Sure, as long as you take it nice and easy. I got a calm spot going here. You see those symbols on the plague? Yeah, I see them. Those are street symbols, not drawn by me, mind you. You know what they mean? More or less, most of them are dumb text or symbol message. What do the plagues once mean? That's not safe here, and you better watch your child. Not sure about stick figure with no tail. Might be some cult shit. Uh, you call the new down fellowship? Nah, it wouldn't be them. I think someone less dangerous, more religious. Almighty shepherd than Irish, perhaps. Organized collision is dangerous. Ain't that simple. Evil cults have their upsides. We all need companionship and something to believe in. Yeah, but you could believe in something real instead. People are different. Let's leave it there. People are funny. Some real oddballs out there. You never know. Praise be the oddballs. I heard that. Uh, my name is Howard, by the way. Mine's Lenny. Pleasure to meet you. You too. Always nice to pass time with a new face. How did you end up here? Got injured at work, but let me go. What was the job? Work at the big print works down in Gastown. And there was nothing else you could do? With these mangled fingers and my brain not much better. They're more to light than just only producing shit. Maybe someone like you will never get it. What do you mean, someone like me? You are young, a decent kind, you got the tie, you probably think you got options. Damn, it's true. Well, thanks for listening to Wash Up Guy Ramblings. If we never end up being under the bridge together, we'll drink and cry the night away. What's wrong with drinking and crying together here? You think that's likely? Ha, ah, that depends on you, but stranger things have happened. Okay. Well, we got some, uh, you know, a good conversation with that dude. <laughs> it's always nice. Lee like bush or bush? Has that some herbal sting to it that uh, no. Who the hell is this guy over here? Whoa 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 He was following us. Hey pussy boy, let's have a little chat. Get fucked <laughs> Cut to chase. Just want a friendly shit chat. Got any lunch for your new friends? Plenty, just not for you. The fuck is expecting me? You're an ugly boy and you're on my way. Now come on, show me what you're made of. Ain't going to be that easy, mate. No time for pain city. Come on, show me what big boys you are. Oh fuck. Ooh. Well, it's free against one. But I'm not going to give my money that easily. <gasps> it's a feline. It's what? A fox? I don't know. I don't know what the hell is that. It's a fox or not. Probably this one defeated all of them and now it's going to save us and put us on the right track. No, it's Rene. It's from the bite. Okay, our lot. We are safe here. You can relax. What's your name again? Gee, your hair. It's Rene Wilson. Let's talk. Why would I tell you anything? Because we might want the same things, but fine. Let's, I'll start us off. Oh, wait. Paul, she was investigating the same thing. 
and uh, but she didn't you know cause any problems while we caused problems huh I'm a writer, I'm a research colleague, it's a blood war for a book on power and influence I'm working. Why are you interested in blood war? She is maybe the most unofficial powerful person in the city. Since she took over as head of her family, she's been expanding. New drugs, high profile visitors to Dubai and more. Drugs? Sp specifically monkey butt. Incredibly potent and super addictive. She serves to clean variety at the bite and the shittier version is turning up on the streets. Potent how? The pure virgin is basically an herb infused with some chemical compound. It loosens up the tongue, which for someone like Bloodworth could serve a purpose. What kind of visitors? Do you know there's a VIP lounge upstairs at the bar? Super exclusive, some really influential guys have been seen there. I'm talking top bankers, senior police, even apes. I've been up there. I'm guessing you weren't invited. Bloodworth is getting some powerful regulars. No such thing as simple drinking with those kind of folks. You could say that. I never talked to her directly at all. I knew you have. Watch she's up close. Smart. Yeah, that's my impression too. She won't get that far without knowing how to read people and their intentions. Let's move on. Hmm. Who are you working for? Myself, as my first founding, that's a guy, rich, important asshole. It's an ego trip for him, but he knows I don't like being told what to do. Who's the guy? The name won't mean anything to you, but he thinks the book will make him look good and dish the dirt on his rival. Uh, tell me more about the book. I'm studying different forms of power and investigating who really holds the most influence in the city. And what's that gonna accomplish? People can't remake society if they don't realize it's broken. Okay. Uh, so how you find me in the park? Well, I left the bite just after you got kicked out. Saw you running around. I wonder what madness you were up to. Yeah, I was pretty hot under the car. Just the usual night for me. I'm gonna say the first one. Anyway, I, st I stick it out the back alley just in case. 20 minutes late. Bingo, a puking raccoon. Could have been usual back alley puking. Glad you enjoyed the show. Then I follow you, hoping to ask what happened. Not sure why I let you drink that bottle first. Glad you found me. Let's hope it was worth my while. Why am I here? What do you want from me? First I want you to trust me like I trust you just now. What did you find at the bite? Uh, I'm gonna say the second one. <clears throat> Wouldn't it feel nice to share the bar with someone? I'm gonna say it first. Yes, that will be nice. I'm here to listen, I can help. What did you find? It's a long story. Start from the beginning. On our way here, you told me you are a PI. What led you to the bite in first place? I was looking for someone. A lead on the case? I was hired to track a guy, take some photos. Uh, why? What is his deal? This is a piece of shit cheating on his pregnant wife. I see, it's a point, but not surprised. Did you find him? Yes. Is a uh, corpse. Wait, where? In the bite spaceman, they were cutting target up into pieces. What the fuck? Got him like a fish, there were other bodies hanging from the ceiling, dividing his flesh into neat little chunks. I'm gonna say the third. I saw a box of flesh, it was just one body. Are you fucking joking? I wish I was. Let me get this straight. Bulldog is cutting up people in the basement of the bite and then putting them into box. You got this straight. I won't put killing people past her, but this? Why? Maybe it's a power thing or a fetish. Maybe she eats them. How the fuck will I know? I thought you were a dead no, Never mind. I didn't ask for this. I'm not a fucking murder detective. No, I don't know, Rene. I don't know shit. Okay, whoa. It really was an eventful night for you. What are you going to do now? I got, I got to get my shit together. Exactly. That's our plan. I wait to sweet embrace of death. Since when it's our plan? Since I followed you to say that night and rescue your soggy ass from a puddle, I have a proposition. What is it? I want to invite you on an adventure. I like adventures. So work with me. Let's find the truth about Blood War. She's clearly more dangerous than I thought. She is, but what could you do? I never had a partner before, but my gut feeling says I can trust you. You found something that I called. I owe you, and you owe me one. 
I trust you too. Thanks, just imagine doing your thing while working behind the scenes. Teamwork, us, I'll pay you. A partner could be nice. My smarts, you, your stubbornness, dream team. Let's try, I guess. Excellent. Now, tea time. Might bring some, but I'm guess you do it. And I'm the mastermind pulling strings. Get brewing, sure, boss. Why the hell we have to say it's sure, boss? The hell? Uh, black spicy tea. Renee is pretty cool. Yeah. It's been a while since I met someone like her. Like whom exactly? Hmm. I don't know. She seems curious, smart and kind. It's nice to have someone like that around. Oh, he's getting like in love with her probably. You just moved in? Oh my gosh, she's gonna kill us. Where are we? Dogs, not the most picturesque part of the city, but at least it's hard to find. I have a similar one in my office. No good investigation should be without one. That's true. There we go. The tea is ready. Let's have some tea and some biscuit. Wait, I need to move on. Black tea, nice. Don't burn your tongue. Way ahead of you. Oof. Whoa. So the case, you need to figure out what happens to that flash. Do you see the Starling Cedar delivery truck in the white alley? Yeah, and I had a, a dig around. You think what I'm thinking? The truck smuggles to flash away. No, I think. Uh, no, the truck smuggles to flash away. Right. That seems a little stretch. Where are we going? You going with this? What if I told you it's not a real Starling Cedar van? Why bother making a fake? What about you making a fake? That was my question before. I've seen it a few times while searching the bite, but I guess now we know. You follow it, didn't you? I try, but I'm not an expert at telling stuff. I'm a writer, not a fighter. Well, luckily there are people you can pay to keep an eye on things. Long story short, I know it delivers somewhere in gas town. No, no, more like streeties and teenagers with too much time on their hands. I have a little network of friends. They didn't see the exact delivery location? No, my father tracked it to the main commercial block, then lost it. But I figured out that he spends the night in the bite alley before going to Gastown the next day. So it will be in Gastown tomorrow? Yep, you should figure out exactly where it delivers and investigate. We have to learn where that flash goes. So it's a stakeout. Sure, but look for where the Starling is token. It's a fake truck, but right the right place will probably still sell it to avoid suspicions. That will help you narrow things down. Thank you. It's a little in a stack, but uh, that's all we have for now. It has to be done. The only thing to fear is fear itself. You can do this. Clarissa could be tracking me. You already comp compromised your safety. What's the point in stopping now? You got nothing to lose. I have to call all that. Wherever that is, go ahead. The phone is right there. Arrange a taxi to cast down while you are at it. Okay. Noodles, okay. Oh, that. Hello? Uh, to tell I'd call you this early. Miss Holt, my husband didn't come home tonight. Do you see him? Uh, I have. You are safe now. What happened? I'm, you must tell me. Uh, you should call the police now. I'm not gonna say that. You'll be okay. Trust me. Move on. Goodbye. But please wait. Hang up. Mom. Lot of reasons. Can you answer the phone like a normal person? It's your favorite son. Howie? What time is it? Are you okay? Did you hurt yourself? 
mom, I'm fine, I'm just checking in. Yeah. You don't call for weeks, then you check in at 5 a.m. Sorry, I've been busy, work uh, and uh, all that. What work? Do you need money? I have a proper job now, remember? Shut sure, sure, up, I just worry about you. What do you need then? No, I'm fine. Well, now that you're here, maybe you can help me. I keep seeing these damn spiders under the bed. Spiders, huh? Big ones? Huge, I'm not panicking, but where they are coming from? You should take a look for me because... Sure, I'll call you in a week or two. Busy. <laughs> but you always are, it's fine. Luckily, I still have your father around to take care of your old loving mother. Mom, I love you. Oh, hi, I love you too. Don't skip breakfast and stop, and stop smoking. Bye bye, baby. Uh, Tolly, uh, I know who it is. I called you. It's sour. It's not very awake. Haha, <laughs> you think that I was asleep? Sleep is for when you got no babies. You're free today? For you? Always. What time? <laughs> it's a pearl or a peach. Uh, a pear or a peach. Uh, what I was saying. Pick me up today at 9, I'm paying for the day. You bet, how you untold the dynamic duo of, dynam of Detective Boy Parnish. Crime Lodge, beware. I thought at least can have to put some clothes on. You're the boss, big day pay. I'll wear a tiny hat if you want. You are at your place? No, one second, hey, what's the address? Tell him to pick you up outside 1640 Albany Street. Yeah, in the docks. Wait. Oh, who's Rene? Who is she? Tell you later. Okay. Uh, okay, so start with the truck. Find where it is going. Call me during and after. I'll write you my number in a minute. Oh, so so that. Oh, that is my client. Elaborate. The one that hired me to snoop on the guy I found dead in the bar. Terrasman. Oh, poor woman. Anyway, what's my end goal with the truck? Our goal is to confirm if it's smuggling flesh out of the bite and to where or to whom. And if you learn, report to me. You can stay here for as long as you want. This place like, is my little secret. I'll go home now and meet you back here later tonight. You don't want to stay? No, call me if you need anything. Be careful out there. Damn it. I had to try. But they say that was like I could have handled that better. I wonder how. So what's the case? You know, I can tell you, but this one could make a difference, I think. We love that for you. Time you stamped your name on the world. Uh, H O W R R D. It's not about my name. And the name of your part, the stamp is just underneath. T O L Y. Tolu. <laughs> Here we are, Gastown, Shepherd Almighty. What? What a swamp place. Looks can be deceiving. Doesn't apply to me. You go and bother folks, and I'm gonna get some quality Anatoly chill time. When's your turn coming? Soon, I hope. It will be here for, before you know it. Bring me a magazine or a paper while you are at it. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, it's so hot and I'm so lazy. You are telling me. Gas town. Buy a new pack of cigarettes. We got red box of us. Uh, so. Pack of cigarettes. What else can you buy a pack of cigarettes? Liquor shop. Louis. Sorry sir, I'm waiting for another delivery. Could you come back later? Do you sell Starling Cider? Please come back later, I have to close. Hmm. Interesting. Bookshop. Welcome to Pucci's Ridge. Buy some books, please. They are good to you. What can you tell me about the local area? I'm a bookseller, not a tourist guy, but we do have the Grumman's Gullivan around Gastown if you're interested. I'll pass on that, thanks. 
So this is a bookshop. What are you in here for? Uh, got anything by Rene Wilson? No, right, name rings a bell. Oh, the young fox, right? I got her book right here. Yes. What's her book called? Introduction to system, systemic state power dynamics, not cashes. How it was received? To be honest, it wasn't quite an achievement to even get Polish, and she did not. She did well, not sound hysterical. But you are about the first person to ask about it. She's young. Yes, a debut, 25 years old. Really quite unusual she managed to get posts. Okay, we got to know something about her. Ah yes, I'll go to the street see I'm under the stock. Obviously I have plenty full copies of the Apex Colors right there. I lost my copy to a fire. Yes, I thought they have any tendency to spontaneously combust, unfortunately. I need a, another copy though. If you must, here you go. What books would you recommend? I hate it when people ask me to the question, do you uh, do your own research, develop your own taste, but I need to be an expert? Yes, forgive my outburst. I'm sure you are just curious, but most folks just consume a mindless diet of cultural sidecast. Well, what has been recently published? Recently, Love is in the Air and Kill Me If You Can. Oh, and a fascinating little book about philosophy of lockpicking. What's the one on lockpicking like? It starts by explaining the fundamentals of how locks work and what we can learn about life from them. But of course, it goes deeper. How do you pick a lock asking for a friend? First, you need two tools, both long and thin. You start by creating some pressure on the cylinder on the, of the lock with your first tool. Then you have to figure out which of the pins is sized and pry it with your main tool until it clicks. Repeat until all the pins are up and bingo. My gosh, will you be buying the book? Nah, I mean, you told me the good part already. You've been here long. I've been running this store for 12 years, took over from my mama, shepherd bless her memory, if not her shelf, organizing system. All my parents gave was anxiety. Yes, well, I hardly inherited fortune. Thought I would still want to sell books if I had, just have more room to sell them. People picking many books these days, enough to keep me in business, not to enough to wake up and realize how long society has fallen. Ah, nothing more like interesting. I wonder if you can use that lock picking uh, that he explained it. I wonder. Sean. Yeah, I'm on my smoke break. I want to talk and customers always right. Whatever geez, you are not from around here, huh? I'm on a stakeout visit a friend. Visiting a friend. So what's up? Guess it won't kill me to make small talk. Uh what are locals like? They are assholes. Why talk? Because they live here. You own this place? Yeah, I've been here for a couple of years. How are you liking it? The rent here is so steep. It will be cheaper in the West End, but all the folks there don't even have a stable supply of choice. Then why you set up here? The clientele. They got money for dumb luxury fancy lights here. It does myself, but hey, I got a look after me and mine too. Make rent, make stuff, help others build. Uh, okay, nothing interesting. I, I try to help people. Good for you, man. Okay. Delhi shop, what hell is that? Uh, you got any styling in there? Sure, we got regular Red Berry and Pierre. You expecting a delivery today? I got plenty of each in stock, what do you ask? Just curious, do you sell anything special? What you see is what you get, sell quality products. You got Red Apple cigarettes? Surely, do. Free lunch for a pack of 10. I'll take them, thanks. Here you go, that will be free lunch, thanks. Well, I did I finally get a new shipment of tomatoes and dry onions. Finally? It's been an unsensible call, slow down the growth of lots of crops at the greenery. The apes are taking care of it, they say. How will that affect you? Might be tough a couple more, what I can say. Hmm, at least because town grocers get a decent pick of crop. We should be fine, it's just we are so reliant on the agriculture in greenery, so fresh stuff is going to be more expensive for a while. Uh, 
Could this be the place? Yeah, but to say that it, you isn't expecting nothing. Doc. Oh my, what a minute now, my boy. You have got a bone structure many kinds could only dream of. Thanks, I agree with myself. Of course, your kind has its own inner problems, but I would love to take a closer look, if you don't mind. Perhaps there's a correlation? Look at what? Could you bear your teeth like so? Or say, rah, rah. Fascinating, no sign of overbite, slight concave curve to the canines. No yellowing at the base or the tip, but not too pale. Overbite? Overbite like signify lower ethical standards resulting in apparent uh, behavioral patterns. You are not a sexual defiant, are you? Oh yes, of the most advice device. The I procedures I could prescribe you if you like to fix me. Thanks, I'm good. Nothing interesting this guy can say. Mo. Got your papers. Uh, got anything a lazy tra taxi driver will enjoy. <laughs> you want news, crosswords, or I got a little stumping something for grown ups. What's the difficult level of the crosswords? Only got the ones for kiddies left. Perfect, I'll take it. The price is one loan. Here we go. Is that you, Bo? No, I'm Mo. Who's Bo? The rabbit from Granville. Shh, go away. You're scaring off my clients. Okay. Oh, the truck. to the liquor shop. All done grandpa, see you next week. Do you sell styling cinder? Of course my friends, but if you want refreshing perhaps I could recommend you my very own light stout. I have apple cherry and blueberry infused with variables. But I love stands in and you just got a fresh delivery. Oh well, but I have some in stock already, it's very good. If you let me buy uh, it fresh from Crate, I'll make it worth your while. Ha, <laughs> I really appreciate your enthusiasm, but I would love to uh, take inventory on uh, this bookkeeping. Maybe it's not Stalin seen in those crates at all? Ridiculous! I know what I are, but this is my shop, I won't be uh, arranged. I won't be arranged like this, it's my own shop. I am in truth, I'm a journalist, few questions and I'm going okay. Louis, I'm a private investigator, we need to talk. Wait, what? There's nothing, but if it will make you happy and leave me alone, uh, where are you buying those crates from? Just my usual wholesome supply. I love to only sell my own brews, but sadly people are slow to love them. If they add more taste, then, then. You sell any of your stuff to the bite? You stock any merchandise from the bite? Like what? Isn't the bar in a club? They don't export anything. Have you heard of Clarissa Bloodworth? I've heard of her, wasn't. She owns that bar, the bite. I think it's called. She own anything else, perhaps? I'm not sure. I don't, uh, I'm not familiar with her business dealings. I'm afraid. I mean, I mean, I haven't even unpacked them, I told you, but, you know. How about a free sample of my own part? Then? You're not going to get, going to get me drunk. I, ju I just... I like to share my own brews, that's all. What's in the crates, Louis? You talk or bad things will happen. Sir, please, I don't know what you want to hear, but the shop is my life. I'm a rational guy, Louis. This could be painless. Talk about what? You will understand. I mean, if there was something. Nobody will know. I hate Blood War if you'll be safe. This is just about me. If it was, then maybe, but... I'm sorry, please understand, just leave me. Someone has got to stop uh, Clarice, help me. Her, you'll just make things worse. Louis, I'm investigating Clarice, I got your back. I suppose if you find a way into the storage room after I drop a disc key, I'll take a look, don't go anywhere. Okay. What do we have over here? Great. 
inspect it up close. There's a feather stand in the log on the side. The box is simple construction of cheap wood with a flat lid. Look at the lid. The lid doesn't appear to have a lock on it and there's an obvious way to open. Think about the box hard what hell? Inspect the lid. You run your fingers carefully along the edge of the lid. At one point there's a tiny excess in the side. Lever up the lid. With a little effort the lid pops out from its groove. Look inside. Beneath the lid are a number of small packs in the field wrapped in fixed sleeve paper. Uh, sniff the package. This slivery paper has a chemical tank. The rest of uh, your olfactory observations fill up with the musty basement smells of damp and old cigarette smoke. Unpa unwrap the package. The crate remains open. It misses except and it receives a pull on you. Okay, fine. Unwrap. You peel back a layer of slivery paper to reveal a neat square of flesh. Inspect the flesh. The flesh is light pink with a striated texture. Sniffed flesh. There's a melange of intoxicating scent, sweet, fatty, with notes of acid acidic tang. Fuck this, I've seen enough. Well, I, do, I did everything that I could. You, so you saw it, illegal fish fillet? It's a dangerous black market. You think I don't know what fish smells like? Ha, some don't smell uh, as fish as you think. When did you find out what was in the Tell me everything. No one, no one, no one else will give you this chance. But, but if she finds out I told anyone, I'll get thrown over the wall, you understand? If I tell a soul, I'm worse than death. Uh, what do you do with the box? Nothing, I just look after them until they are delivered. Delivery? A woman calls, asks for the usual. I get one of my boys to deliver the crate to her. I was instructed not to ask questions. The caller, who is she? Her name is Bajwa. It's all I can tell you, sir. I can write down the address for you. It's my head if Bloodworth hears of this. Bajwa, who? I don't know. I will never ask. How did you end up with the box full of flesh? I didn't have a choice, afraid to ask conspire against me. Maybe it was a hard choice, but you still had one. No, I did not. You'll never understand. Just try to explain to me. It's just why me, why her? Neither of us did anything to anyone. Just worked hard and paid our tax. It's the damn city's fault. Why isn't her medicine free? Her? Someone close to you? Miss Bodworth is keeping my sister alive. She pays the medical bills. I even thought about selling the shop, but the lunch wouldn't have lasted. Keeping her alive? How? Leah is healed. Too healed to work. Needs medication for life and it's expensive. The doctors with Bodworth, the meds are paid for and never late. Thanks, Louise. I have to go now. Go. What are you going to do? I'm gonna find out more about this bachelor character. You weren't forced into this like I was. Why get involved with such nasty business? I wager you don't you won't like where it leads to you. We will see. Just please swear you won't tell anybody about this. I can't bear to leave you in even more fear. You got nothing to fear. Thank you. Shepherd guides you. The first one. I think it's time you left, sir. One last question. When is Bachelor expecting delivery? Well, Joy took a crate over a few days ago. She's expecting a box of cigars today, but I'm not sure about the other crates. Tell Joy he's got day off. I'll take the cigars. I, you can't. They'll suspect. And if it gets back to me, Leah, this won't get back to you. Give me the cigars. Trust me, I'll do all this time. Give me the cigars. I, fine, I can stop you. My life might be worthless, but I'll be my will serve if you are not careful. Stay safe, Louise. Okay. I shall call him here. Can I deliver the thing to this guy? You got this, you ask it. Whoa, crosswords? Hey, you're welcome. Okay, got to go. 
hotel is that a phone somewhere ginger good afternoon all right peace is doing they are good thanks for asking they know me better than anyone how long have you been thinking them i came i come out every day have you done I've done for the last five years, I must say, I enjoy the peace and quiet, sounds lonely to me, that's the difference between loneliness and solitude, young fella. Enlighten me, loneliness is a yearning and emptiness, solitude is space to be yourself, to know yourself, to love yourself. I want someone other than myself to know me, keep your eyes peeled, young lad, you never know when that someone will appear, don't miss them. You're not by yourself with hungry pitched around. Maybe they are not the cleverest or the brightest, but they are innocence to them and they are so jolly. Don't you want some normal friends too? I am solitudinous. Of course, every now and then I wonder if there is someone out there who could be solitudinous with me. Okay. Good for you. Okay, I got a new lead. I am listening. Uh, a name, name advisor is the buyer. Any idea who she is? Not yet, but she puts in a call to the shop and the box get leave from there. Do you, did you learn where? Okay. An eyes in the top is interesting. Feels like heading over for a house call. Heck yeah, I love picking to people's windows. Hmm, might not be the best idea to just barge in and confront her. I have a delivery for her. Oh, good idea, but that don't get you into the apartment. Maybe she'll invite me to the Owl Charmer. You do seem to have a bit, to have a habit of winging it. But hey, whatever works. It's more like spontaneous improvisation. Get on with it. I'm going, I'm going. Good luck. You are doing great. Call me after, and head straight home. Okay? Home? Well, it is where you live uh, now. Right. Speak soon. Harold. Uh, no, uh, what were the... Uh... You okay there? Oh, don't mind me, Sonny, just wish I could remember. You lost something? I dropped my ring, blasted slippery thing. Sure you drop it right here? I think so, truck this great, I think. Is it foul? It's my wedding ring. Oh, what you gonna do? Well, Sonny, if you can help me get this manhole open. I want to help, but you can't go down there. I may not be in my prime, but I need that ring back. If I can get down this manhole. Uh, surely it's uh, too dangerous. What if I forget about Irma? Who? My late wife, my only wife. The ring was precious, but you always have your memories. You get to my age, you learn that not true. There are times now where I realize it's been days since I thought of her. No, just me, for 17 years I do miss having someone to share an afternoon with, feed the pigeons to crossers, you know. Alright. Nobody over here. Does this guy know something? That's the guy I think you should meet. I'm sure your heart's in the right place, but you, you, need, you don't need to beat me. I don't, I'm just gonna chill like minded strangers. Nah, not that I'm interested, but what makes you think I enjoy talking to him? He likes pigeons, probably. He's got a lot of love. And who is the gentleman of which you speak? He's right over there, shall I introduce you to? Well, you can tell him that if he wants to, I'll be willing to share my bench with him for a while. Huh. Okay, gonna help these shoot guys, okay. I'd like, to, I'd like for you to meet a new friend. That's sweet of you, La, but I think I'll just bore you. I can tell stories like I use. Nah, not me. Someone wise and kind. Well, yes, that will be the kind of person that might put with me. That person over there feeding pigeons. Oh, that well-dressed lady. I won't want to interrupt her. I read square with her. Go on. I don't know. I'm not used to meeting new people anymore. She's looking forward to meeting you. Come on. If you say so, I suppose it won't hurt. Okay, Harold, let's go. Aha. My work here is done. Let's write all tops. Let's go. Okay. Here we go. To the tops.
we have to go where this Boja or whatever was the name, Boshwa. What's new, Chief? Did you crack the case yet? No, got a big lead, Pop. Ha, lead on, pardon. Sounds like this is a big deal than usual. You are uh, being careful, right? Hey, Alex, I'm not about to, to deprive you of your best customer. Best friend? Sure, but if you are my best customer, how come you don't tip? <laughs> because best friends don't need to tip, Anatoly. It will be impolite. Polite? Ha! I didn't realize you were part of high society, are we? You fixing to become a minister? Just what's wrong, huh? Ah, yes. Welcome to the Blue Falls building. My name is Finn. I'm afraid we have a strict policy of only admitting visitors who have been pre-invited. I have a delivery from Miss Pajwa. Ah, yes, there's a delivery boy on the list. She's in apartment 1144 floor. Uh... How do you like working here? It's a wonderful building. I'm lucky to work in such a good neighborhood. <laughs> and what do you get for it? Jesus. You want me to say I live in the basement? Will that make you happy? No, it makes me sad. Yeah, well, you asked for it. Uh, I wish you, you would the best. Keep up the good work. I fully intend to. Uh, Jesus. Nikki. Hey, what do I look to you? Uh, a big bad wolf? Damn straight, and I work for it. I'm sure you did. You don't live here. Nope, I'm a delivery boy. Delivering anything I would like? Uh, I don't know what you like. Just show me what you got. I'll know it when I see it. See guys, I can't screw with the packaging. Don't you know who I am? Uh, shall I? The name's Nikki. Can you call me the wolf? Even your mom. I can see why. Uh, around here, people hear wolf, they think of Nikki. Uh, I'm sure you are an upstanding pillar of the community. You'll make your mom call you that. No other wolves in the world, huh? I'm gonna say the first one, seriously. I don't see a fool like you around here often. Uh, that's because I probably shouldn't be here. Damn! You gonna make me work for us? Yes. Give me one good reason why I should. Uh, you are not my boss. You are nothing. But I could make you everything. I'm listening. Oh yeah, if you was nicely, I can get you on the wolf hotness level, fool. I'm sure you can. Now we are talking my language. Have you heard of a wolf job? What the fuck? Uh. Does your language include the word by? Okay. The fuck? That was weird as hell. Okay. It, it goes automatically to the 11th floor. You don't even need to press. And then it was 1144. I don't know if you need to find it or not. Floor 20 committee meeting this Friday. Wait, how the hell do you know which room is it? Oh, this is uh, Bajwa? Wait, she's a waitress? What? Miss Bajwa, I got a delivery for you. Ah, cigars. Right here, just what the doctor ordered. Right here, can you confirm the recipient's name? I might not get to enjoy that, but I'm the recipient. Elvis Bajwa. You like working here? Not presume to ask me such personal questions. You can go now. So, what was the price already agreed? I have an arranged with Louis. It's taken care of. Sure, but all about the tip. It's up to your employer to recompense you correctly, not me. Hmm. You want to arrange any other deliveries? Louis will know. But what if he doesn't? Stop prying. You can leave now. Vice is just the maid. Find out who the apartment really belongs to. Yeah, but how? Fire escape. Can we go? Huh, interesting. Uh, climb. Ok. 
Can we see flowers? Pretty flowers smell like a warm summer evening. Hmm. We can't see nothing from over here, okay. Interesting. So what was the point on getting to over there? That's weird. You can go to the left, but you can't see nothing. You can only see the flowers. I can't reach it, damn my short arms. Well, that's a duck or whatever that is. Oh, you can get to them? I thought you could like reach from this uh, air conditioning or whatever that is. Okay, oh, oh, pick up the umbrella window. It looks like cozy inside, okay, I'm being creepy. Nah, that's uh, the day that you do. Always go to windows and look inside. See what people are doing. Okay, probably now we can reach uh, with the umbrella. I guess I should get rid of it. My pockets are too small. Can you climb it? Or you need to throw? Okay, throw. Screw it, umbrella. I wonder if you could keep it. I wonder. I don't think you could because you couldn't even climb. So I think you needed to throw. The city looks so strange from up here. I bet it's easy to forget real people are, st are struggling down below. Pet the geezer. Who's a good boy? You are a good boy. The geezer. Okay. Okay. It has to be this way. Okay. Probably try to duck, not uh, crouch, not to see, not to be seen. I should be right outside the back of mate's apartment. Who really lives here? Inspect the window. It's closed on a latch. Oh wait, it's actually open the tiniest bit. If I had something thin enough to slide through and unlift, well, shit. Hey, probably if I had the umbrella. Looks like there are conversations going on. Maybe I can find some kind of tool nearby. Hmm. I wonder if the umbrella will work. Probably not. Probably needed this. Hey, stranger. This is not what you think it is. I don't know. I don't want to know. Saw you climbing. Nice moves. Yep, been training. It shows on your butt. Been a while since I heard that. That's too bad. I'll tell you that every day. Uh, you know your neighbors well? Nah, we don't practically vibe. Why? Don't know. I'm minding on my own business. Is that cat nip you are smoking? You, yep, want some? Uh, maybe some other time I have to go. Hate to see you leave. Love to watch. Love to watch you go. Bye, gorgeous. <laughs> I bet the pudding is thin enough to fit. Okay, it's just about easy now. Lift the latch and boom. Now I can lever it open enough to climb through. There's no one inside. Fuck, Albert, you are up to it again. This one's second craziest thing I ever done. Just this week alone. Okay. There's nobody in here. Let's see. In my way over my head, I need to quickly figure out who lives here and run. This is upsetting tasteful. Spence looking knowledge. Not this guy. Yeah, probably a book, something opens. Oh, hello, mister. Are you lost? Yep, that's right. I'm new part of the hired help. You look funny. Yeah, I get that a lot. I'm funny, funny. Weird or funny? Ha ha ha. You are a strange one, aren't you? You got no idea of normal kid. I'm super ordinary. So what are you doing? Um, I'm an admin assistant. That says an mistake is the key to government. I always leave a paper trail, he, he says. What does daddy do? My father is the research and development secretary. He's the secretary of research and development. What about your mom? Mine keeps the house and helps father with the paperwork. 
Is she happy? Of course she is. Always. She has everyone and me. Mine is that classic. Whose house is this? I'm gonna say sorry to your dad, kid. When I grow up, I'm never going to do any work. What we'll do instead? Tell here just likes to, to annoy me and play with her dumb dolls. You think dolls can force big to big coated stereotypes too, huh? When I grow up, I'll have hundreds of assistants. Can I ask you to for a favor? That says a single favor can be priceless, but more than one makes you worthless. I will owe you both one great big fat favor. That depends what you want. My boss will be angry and I'm talking to you. Let's keep it a secret. Yes, because you are being lazy instead of working. Exactly, and I need this job to pay for stuff. Our stuff is bad and we don't we didn't have to work for it, we we look the grown ups will be angry at you too. No they won't. Will they? Uh you extracted servers from doing their work. Spending time with a peasant like me? Oh, they will piece it. Hmm, but it could be fun to watch you get shouted at. I can do that, you know, shout. And what do you think they will say to you afterwards? Nothing. That is my favorite. Uh, I will tell him to throw his files out of the window. You won't there. I think I will. Fine, you got to have a deal, mister. Tell, take a peek. Can we sneak out? No, you pick, I don't wanna. I can do it. Fix me, sir. Favor pay. Sure. Whew. Holy shit. These kids are stupid. Okay, a lion and a monkey? Another uh, an ape and a, a lioness or whatever. Female lion. There's other people, other animals too. That's Bjawa picking up a knife. Oh, she, no, she's cutting. She's cutting meat. But probably that's that meat, you know, from other animals that we saw. Could be that. So is it clear? Can we go now? Hey, you know what's for dinner? Did you see anything strange while seeing you through the dining room? What's for dinner? We didn't see, but see, it smelled kind of funny. There's something that they don't want you to know. Okay. Neil, I want to try. I'm sure they will let you try some food if you are good. Of course, it's for some. Delicious, I'm excited. Oh, some things can only be appreciated by grown ups. That's true. Most people can't appreciate the best things. Excited. I'll bet you got to work cool. Thanks, Mr. Come on, Neil. It has to be the, the desk, right? Such desk. There are a few. Close the drawers, an empty mug, a, clunk, a chunky book, and nothing else to note. Open drawers. They are locked. Whoever owns his desk is taking no chance. Inspect the book. It's a copy of The Nature Within Us by Jordan Rain. Read the back of the book blur. In this seminal advocacy of pure reason, individualism and power reign threats new ground forwards a truly utopian society. Search for either compartments. You never seen a desk with a secret compartment, but that doesn't stop you from hoping. You find nothing. Fuck. Take the mug. A plain white mug with father of the year writing big red letters on it. Sniff the desk. A wood has perhaps been rubbed with scent oil, redolent of citrus and smoke. It smells of power and success. A quick glance reveals the stack of various documents, letters and notes, all with annoying small print, carbon papers. Right, the name of the owner of this study should be in there somewhere. No time to look through them. Okay, at least we got the papers. That's a good thing. The name has to be in there. Are you ready to start? Let's do it! Alright, so you brought into someone's study and stole a bunch of papers. I prefer the term borrowed. Of course, what were you thinking? Uh, there must be something important in there. Alright, let's see. Could you read out loud? I think best with my eyes closed. 
Where do I start? Start small. Something that looks personal, maybe a handwriting. Or is one. It's a handwritten note on a scrap of yellow uh, sticky paper. Read it. Chief Tanner, I have a priority order for you. Your head of biochemistry will not report directly to me. Burn after reading. Gene, your thoughts? Oh, I wrote this. Neat handwriting. Let's try to figure out who he is. Something specific caught your eye. Uh, head of biochemistry. What are you thinking? Uh, the third one. Good point. And you can only find those in Science City. Shift Tanner. Yeah, who is this? That guy. Uh, we have a name. Can't you look it up somewhere? I could try, but maybe I don't have to. What exactly could he be chief of? Report to me. Hmm. To give that R, you need to be serious authority. Yeah, the first one. You're right. Maybe the highest. Shift Tanner must be managing the head of biochemistry, who probably works in Science City. Who is the buyer then? The science minister, probably. Right, you stole this down from the science minister. Nice, Howard. Whoa, this big scary stuff. So the science minister is buying flesh from Clarissa. What is she gaining from this? Let's see if we can figure out that out next. I'm right here with you, let's on. Uh, R&D report. An official looking report on Science City branded paper. Research project 765B into this report. Minister Planetary Analysis of the new sample is underway. The sample possesses heat hurtle uncatalogued genes whose function will require time to isolate via RNA tracking. This can't be rushed, as I've said before, please have patience. Gene, it sounds suspicious, but then most science kind of does. Let's see if we can crack the meaning behind all this. This can't be rushed. It it must be chemistry he hired with writing this. The same means he's not an easy guy to work with. Science are the biochemistry is still everything going slow. Also, it's more being hassle. Sounds like minister is being patient. Protein analysis of the new sample. You understood that? Uh, it's something to do with food. Yeah, probably the food. Uh, I don't think it's that kind of protein. It has something to do with genetics. Our minister, I can't remember. Okay. They got an analysis. It's a new form of life. Or at least something they had not detected before. But were they looking for it? Hmm. RZVP, what else is that? An evil of containing a single sheet of high quality paper with neat writing and a signature. Dear friend, I will of course attend our monthly celebration going to see what the legacy you have prepared to for us this time, Tiana. I think that was that the table that they have who were having dinner, I think that was the invitation. Seems like the minister likes to party. Was that the dinner you saw today? I think I'm gonna get sick. Dear friend, who is Tiana? Another minister? Might be. Powerful people like to stick together and suck each other's blood. Delicacy. What is he talking about? Flesh. Oh, they are eating people. What they are celebrating? That they get rich and powerful each month? Nah. I think it's the third. You know what? I won't be surprised. Handwritten memo. Uh, we already saw this one, fourth. Police note. A blank of paper with a small type of note and no other details or clues. Estimate fellow minister, the recent report of disappearance from West End have clear connection. I don't know why you want them left alone. There's only so much we can turn blind to. If this becomes a scandal, it's, a, it's both our ass. Fix it. I heard about this disappearance. I fucking knew there was a part. This is huge, Howard. Why does the science minister even care? He's uh, protecting someone. Yep, definitely. Whatever the reason is making sure no one digs into the issue. The reason for the disappearance from West have a clear connection. One person is responsible. The minister of some or someone close to him could be the link. Fix it. 
What does this imply? The police start, start to need. The police guy is scared of the science minister. It doesn't sound like it to me. It's more of a warning of what science means to do something. Okay. Makes sense. Briefing lock. A letter to Sierra with a golden city emblem engraving. There are a few pages inside. My right honorable ministers, I wanted to summarize my official recommendation on the new street drug in circulation name at Monkey Butt. Despite its insulting name, I don't believe it poss possesses significant additive qualities. There is no widespread risk to the public health, so criminalization is not warranted. I will continue to monitor the situation with the cooperation of the police. Your dossier includes the detail of toxicology breakdown. Our guy wrote this. If we can ignore the toxicology report. I'm sure it will partly line up with the recommendations. Damn vultures. Do you believe him? He's bluffing. Not exactly. Remember that he has access to laboratory tests, so could be fabricated. My right, honorable ministers. He doesn't really call the shots. If the minister ratified report, monkey bots basically Ill illegal. Okay. Criminalization is not warranted. What does this imply for Clarissa? The recommendation benefits Clarissa. If monkey bots been pushed at the bite, then yeah, that's a lot of it of her. Okay. Life. Letter to Daddy. It's an illustrated letter written in color pencil. Daddy, I love you very much. Please give money for my birth that I want to buy a lizard by. Kids are killed even when they are raised by monsters. How can you love someone like me, Mr. Kid seems to love Daddy. I just tell you. I think I did everything. Mm -hmm. Right hour. What exactly is the relationship between Clarissa and the minister? He has dirt on her, she has dirt on him, they are partners. What does the minister want? What is he getting from all this? Her, they are lovers, flesh, drugs. Flesh? Judging by what you saw under the RCVP, these ministers may be the apes at large are considering lower class people of delicacy. Monsters. Fuckers. Uncle Lisa is enabling this. What is she getting from it? Immunity. Eight ministers are a girl's best friend. If the science minister helps to protect her from the police or any other meddling in her business, then she gets to safely produce drugs, then she gets to keep the bite going, then blood worth can save and make people disappear. Yes, Howard. She has almost absolute power while the minister is on her side. The drugs are pretty straightforward. It's the missing people bother me the most. Yeah, so I'll get you to report names, address. We have to see if these people are connected to the minister of Art Blood Wolf somehow. We investigate West End tomorrow. Tomorrow? They are moving fast. We have to act now. There must be something else we are missing. Or uh, and even bigger benefit to Clarissa. Maybe only an can hear. Maybe she wants to become a minister. No way, a woman, let alone one that isn't even an ape. It's becoming a minister anytime soon. Science stuff that. That will explain why it's science minister. She's interesting. He was searching something right. What was it again? Proteins. Right, proteins. They found the new genes in a secret lab in Science City. Secret research only means that one thing can know about. It's just a PS done. I agree, it's crazy speech. Could Clarissa be interested in this research for her own purpose? It might be power, she wants power. Whatever power is, she has to have it. We must look into it, but getting to Science City will be hard. I guess we could try. But first, West Hand. We are uncovering something incredible. Our, this partnership is working out. Oh, great. Or oh, take out the rhyme. Nice, I'll get it. What the fuck? That's how you get the takeout? What the fuck? I don't understand what. Indeed. Hong Kong. 
Ha, you see alone, what body? Fly free! Drink with me, something st stronger than tea this time. Thought you'll never ask. Tonight's poison is in your gym, man. I'm gonna say the first one. There we go. Drink that uh, that gene to fighting evil. Where we find it anyway? How are you feeling about the case and everything? I never felt more alive. Me too. I think we are onto something important. I'm glad you to have you by my side. I couldn't do it without you. Thank you, Howard. I feel like all my past work, my whole life, has been leading to this moment. You were a writer before, right? Yep, spend my life trying to find the words for how and why everything is so fucked up. Fuck up how? Khaleesi is just a bad apple, everything is connected. She's a symptom of a system totally rigged towards the status quo. Do you think it's a coincidence that you found Jeremy being butchered? The rich are literally eating the poor Howard. I always suspect it was the case. This city is rotting from the head. If you don't see it, you are blind. You know, I was 15, people like me, yet I feel disconnected. I was sleepwalking, then one day something cracked inside me. What happened? Tell me. Last year I was reporting for the City Herald. There was an incident in West End. It made me into who I am. What incident? Pipes burst in one of the older buildings. The tennis called sewer service. It took them three hours to arrive. People boiled alive. I tried to report on it and got fired. What the fuck? All these people in areas like West End and Docks are invisible, neglected, and they die every day. This city is built upon their blood. I can't take it. I have to do something. I feel the same way after the vibe. Cool, nothing will be the same again. You won't be able to pretend to be normal anymore. Right, it's time to change things, finally. I believe in us. How have you been sleeping since? Been trying not to. I have this recurring nightmare. What is it? I'm running through thick black mud and then it swallows me whole. Sounds a bit like mine. Hmm, what is it? I'm in my shallow house, hmm? trying to find the door to my room, looking for my mom. And she's not there, she's but she has no face, just smooth circle. I find that dead but smiling. Hour. I feel relieved by it actually, no hard to analyze, right? I'm sorry, not your fault. Are you close to your mom? Close enough, yeah. What does that mean? She's someone she's not someone I expect. It's complicated. Complicated all. I'm not sure I want to talk about it. Okay. Anyone else you are close to? Just you. I know what you mean. We are going to do great things together, I know it. You make me excited about the future. Do you ever feel like no one totally knows you? You know me, kind of. But I could only know you filter through my own perception. That is not really you, it's just a projection inside my mind. I'm glad that I'm in your head, René. Me too, get comfortable, it's a nice place to be in. You are also in my head, René. That's nice. Are you happy? I'm not sure, I think I'm going in the right direction. I'm, I will tie you along if you don't mind. Yeah, or I'm so tired. Do you mind if I sleep here? Close your eyes. Yes, look at René. Okay. He's gonna stay looking at her always. Tuck in. Sweet dreams, René. Can you do something else? Go to sleep. Okay. So probably the next part we're going to have is uh, to go to uh, uh, to West End. Probably is where we have to go. How are you okay? You are probably more than as after I forgot the dish. Lots on my mind. So how about you share instead? Mm -hmm. It might do you and that overworked brain of yours some good. The case keeps getting bigger, maybe I'm out of my death. And there, there's René who... Uh, Wee, that lady! Ha! Huh? No wonder you are daydreaming. 
Nothing like that. We work well together. I respect her. Good working together, mutual respect. Not bad ingredients if you are looking to cook up a little size, something something. It's all I'm saying. That you street hawk. Since when do I have a code name? Starting out street hawk. Anyway, how it's been going over there? Not so great, I'm near the apartment of the last two leads now. You already spoke to Mary, Miranda and Charlie? I tried everything, but they are a total mistreat of strangers. Damn, well, stay positive. Maybe Beverly or Bill will talk. It's overshot, I got a good feeling. Two more doors and they are in the same block of apartments. Then you can come back and put your feet up. If only they knew how understanding you are. Chin up, you got this. And I do got this. Good luck, and remember to knock gently. Let me know how it goes. West End. Gabriela. I hear you, but. Uh, what? I want to talk to Gabriela, su superintendent. Who are you? Wallace, I'm a photographer. Photographer dressed like that? Like what? This off the graph could dress because I'm one. For crime scenes, maybe. Your socks are crime scene. Hey, leave socks out of these. I'm going to see Beverly now. You don't give that poor woman any trouble. You hear she had enough of it for five lifetimes already. I'll be watching. She's got on her body. Okay, enter the building. Whoa, this is shady one. Can you go through the elevator? I think you need. Floor 5. Okay, where is it? Books. Okay. Knock. You are knocking on the wall, dude. Think I heard someone in there. Hmm. Aha. To go well. Uh, do you have a minute, ma'am? What is regarding? I'm on my way out. Um, about Leslie, our lot, I'm private investigator. Private? What does that mean? It means I can help. With what? Magically bringing Leslie back? We, uh, we've seen the bigger picture, all the girls went missing too. No, but maybe finding out the truth. The truth won't bring her back either. You're right, I'm really sorry to dredge this up for you. Did Leslie tell you much about her work? No, I ain't go over it all again. Did Leslie act weird before disappearing? I don't have time for this. There's nothing you can do. I want to find these girls. I'm gonna be late for work at real job. You don't think I take this seriously? You clearly don't know what it's like to have a child. They are part of you, a part you, you never get back. Maybe I do. Just go out. Oh, hi. Anyway, get back inside this instant. Let him speak. Is he looking for a Leslie? Maybe my nose. My? This instant, er Henry. See, so you have another kid raising yourself? No, sorry to keep you, but with my. I can't talk about this anymore. I'm sorry. Would you mind if I talk to Henry? Look, I already get, got to get to work. I'll walk with you. Just go and don't come back. I'm sorry, but please just leave us alone. Okay, I will. Good. Cool. And if you're thinking about speaking to the neighbors, don't. Thank you for your time. Hmm.
Although I can talk to uh, her son. Who the hell are these two? Luxy. Pity, granddad. Do you know uh, any of the missing girls from around here? No, we don't fucking. We don't fuck with that girl. How come? We are dead mice collect bitch. Oh, don't tell. We are self governing anarcho counter cultural movement. Do you have an agenda? Damn right, it's called the Mos Moscarade. We disrupt the whole challenge people's mind. How exactly? Graffiti, protest, love making, whatever it takes. Stay angry. The state will never rest. No peace till the Moscarade comes to fruition. Why the name? We hate mice. Wait, aren't you rats? We are, and we hate mice. It's a metaphor. You will not understand. You live in this floor? Nah. Why? Breaking down, got a splash, makes a cool hang spot. Like clubhouse? You're not a club. Get going, okay. Bean. Cow. Why? Black eyes, burning eyes. Uh, cacao? You don't un you understand this school. I'm a crow. Good for you, kid. Okay. Doorless door. I guess my lead doesn't live here anymore. Good for you, Bill. Looks like nobody's home. Boarded up door. This stretch up some painful memories. I don't know. I'll go back to this life. Mattress. The stains are mysterious and unpeeling. I hope nobody has to sleep on this. Okay. So how the hell I can make a uh, talk to the kids? There must be something that you can do. Beverly, oh, Beverly's here. Oh no. Beverly, please, let me, just let me explain. I told you, I'm not talking to you about that anymore. Please don't make pepper spray you. Okay, I expect that way now. Yeah, thanks. Me too. Okay. This thing isn't fast, right? Hey, it works. Hope you're already, you know, good day. It won't be. Oh, sorry to hear that, yeah. Ah, ground, sorry for everything. Here we are, ladies first. Ladies first. Wait, that went to work. That must mean Henry's alone. Ha! Henry! Open the door, Henry. Hey, Henry, it's me again. I'm a detective looking for Leslie. Hi, you don't look like a detective, really. Wanna see my badge? Yeah, can I hold it? Sure, if you answer a couple of my questions, I want to, but... Aren't you scared being left alone? Mr. Fluffo is always here. Wanna meet him? Does he know where Lily is? Is she okay? Can you really find her? I promise I will do my best. Okay, but don't tell mom. It will be our little secret. She's scared when she's angry. Henry, you were going to say something earlier about Leslie. Mm, but mom says Leslie made her own bed. I make my bed too. Do you love your mom? Yeah, I'm going to get big and rich so she doesn't have to work anymore. And I'll buy her lots of ice cream. You do great. Thanks, Mr. Ted. No one says that to me anymore. What's Leslie a good sister? She's kind, fun and girly, but I forgive her. Did she do something bad? No, she did seem sad when she got on tow. She said, why? No, she'll just hit her pills then be happy again. Who is my? Leslie friend, my. Do you remember her full name? May Louder. We shall live there with her instead. Do you know where Mai lives? With her weird stinky brother, Samson. Nearby? In these flats? No, down the road, the house with the red door. Uh, if you see Mai, uh, you want me to tell her to visit? Yeah, don't tell her I asked though. It's still cool, I bet you can do anything with this. That's what I hope to stay in school, okay? I have to. And look after your mom. I'll put that by mister. Okay, nice. So 
So we say down the road. So probably this way then. Can I call her name? Yeah, I spoke to Beverly. Uh, <clears throat> I got another girl to speak to. Okay, do you think it's worth pursuing? This girl might, she got a brother. He sounds suspicious, I'm gonna just ignore him. Just all that your imagination run away with you. Imagination is how you change reality. Sure, what's going to be your angle in that conversation? It's like chess, I got the first move. I didn't know you played. I was champion of school club, of course. That's why I was play soon. I'll show you my queen's gambit. Okay. Say with a head, or it should be this one. Who are you? What do you want? Uh, are you Samsung? The parents were asking. Name as well as brother. I'm investigative journalist. The press are. Uh, I'll press it to come. I'm not talking to anyone. I'm here to speak to Mai. Mai is not home. Where is she? Who do you think I am, huh? Her brother. Do you know Leslie Fam? Shh, careful. Anyone could be listening. Come in, come in. You got some explaining to do. Okay, sure. Speak and don't bullshit me. <coughs> Where is my? I like to talk to her. Why? What do you want from her? Speak. I'm investigating Leslie Fan May knows her. I'm investigating girls missing the area. Yeah, this one. You have a theory? You must have a theory. And it had better be good. I don't work with amateurs. Wait, what do you mean work with? She's gone. Are you going to help look for her or are you wasting my time? You are saying my also missing yes you absolute fucking idiot i'm asking again what are your theories i think the missing girls have been killed fuck no my will never get caught you have been looking for yourself by for her by yourself i've been looking of course i went to the bite did my work at the bite you don't know shit do you what did you find there just that clarissa blood wolf is a stone cold bitch couldn't have said it but myself. Right on, but my respected her. Why? Isn't it obvious she's protected? You mean by uh, apes? Yes, yes exactly. I heard she's sleeping with an ape, what's in your mind? Can you tell me more about my? Fine, but quickly. If you are here too long it might tip someone off. Did someone happen did anything happen between you and my before she went missing? What are you playing? Punk? Maybe she was acting weird. Nah, things were good. Hmm. I suppose her friend had just gone missing. Leslie? No, not that bitch. I think her name was Rose. They worked together? Yeah, think about it. I think she it was the first of them to start that bite. Maybe the other girls know something? Trust me, I tried that lead, no dice. What is my like as a person? She's pure, kind, brave. She's a survivor and I probably owe her my life. I can tell you really love her. More than anything. It's obvious you never hurt her. Of course, it's fucking obvious. Was she into drugs? No. She didn't need that shit to be happy. She was strong. The strongest. Did my have uh, any close friends? I met a few, mostly factory girls, un until they become bite girls. There was no way she was really friends with that slut. Cool it. Why don't you like her? Leslie was a bad influence on my. How well did you know Leslie? Nobody knew her like I did. She's poison. What's the story between the two? She made me love her, okay? To get close to Mai and to break us apart. Why would she do that? She was always on the job trying to butter you up so you'll visit the white. And she'll look good to her boss. Hmm. Do you think my love her? Probably everyone did. Samson, do you think... Did you do anything to get back to Les at Leslie? 
No, sometimes I wish I did. I just felt so alive when she was around. Didn't mind know about your feelings for Leslie. I don't know, maybe she gets it. I just worry what if it was why? Okay. Just promise you find out what happened, you have to tell me. How long was Maya at the bite? A couple of months. It felt like forever. What was her job there? She started off as a waiter. She got promoted within a couple of months. To what? She wouldn't tell me. She just say she worked upstairs. Did she change after promotion? She seems prouder. Yeah, she was going doing good, I guess. On her house, sure. But don't touch anything. I'll fucking kill you. Dude, I need to touch something. Aquarium. Cute lizard. A lizard. Sword and Clint. That must be made louder. What the hell is happening? Whoa! I just realized why you are really here. They sent you, didn't they? They who they say your name, fucker, pronounce it. Howard Lotter. Can't even keep your straight turn. Fuck, listen. I hate Clayson and more than anyone. Bluffing. That's why any of their lackeys will say, prepare to die. Just put sword and I'll tell you everything. Oh no, truth. the truth is on your eyes. I see it. Just gotta let the blood flow a little. You are the boss. I'm sorry. Let me speak. Who are you? Tell me. I'm P.I. My partner Hany and I are digging up a dart on Clarice uh, to bring her down. How convenient you forgot to match her before. She's a writer. This was our idea. Too many people you know about this. Getting out of control. They'll come for me. If they want to do they already have you. Maybe time isn't right but they'll have a plan they know. You're right, they are out there, but we are in this together. Other people are just liability. They just get you hurt. We both want the same things. I suppose you could be an asset to my work. Right, working together for the same cause. Makes sense, makes sense. The timing has to be right, but we can't wait much longer. I'm not a wimp like you. What's the plan? Let's split up, watch our backs, beat our time. I'll give you a lead to chase. Oh yes, please, I'll be so grateful. That's right, that's right, okay, the first girl that went missing. Rose. Rose Klimenko. She must have start, started it all. Go talk to her. Who is her mom? You are dumb. Go to that you have me. Her name is Florence. She's crazy as fuck. How do I find her? The fuck do I know? Ask around. Thank you, Sam, for not killing me. Oh, you're welcome. It's being real. Now get the fuck out of here. Damn, this guy went crazy. Bo, Holly, post the name, name, use it. Bo, I mean, Mo, I know it's you. Slip the, off the tongue, it's Bo. I know what to say, Mo. Show you though. How about let's do off the path for the inquiry? Well, I don't like to encourage cultural determinists just because the locals here are earned up. Doesn't mean they are not interested in expanding their horizons. Or Mo had some leftover. I don't know about Bo. But I like to stock a, brand, a broad branch of special interest publications. No, Bo, you are Mo. Mo, Bo, I don't know. Mo, Po, Bo is no. Is your, you are all the same person. Just calm down, you'll do yourself a mischief. So you admit it. Admit what? I was just minding my manners, like old mother Flo taught me. Ha! Right. Probably uh, Carl Hene, probably. Oh wait, you can talk to this now? Excuse me. Trench coat, yes, Mengi, ear, strippy, not a boxing. Arwo, I'll come see you too. Ah, good. Looking for some nuts then? Just saying hi. So how's the weather? Okay. Uh, so, uh, it doesn't say anything else? I thought you would say more. I spoke to Samson. You spoke, you sound shaking, you okay? Who is this Samson? Brother of the girl Maya told you about. 
Don't tell me she's missing too. Uh, and she also worked with the other girls. So it's, there is a connection. The first one went Mrs. Ross Klimenko. I need to find her mother. You, you know how? Uh, back soon. Okay, I'm gonna say like the first one. I'm looking for Florence Klimenko. Good for you. Do you know where I can find her? Why would I tell you that? Do you know her? Maybe. I'm mean, interested to the missing girls. Maybe they'll not be found. I think Rose Dowd was the first one to go missing. Good reason. She was a pretty little leech. Uh, were you friends with Rose? Nah, damn leech didn't have friends, just suckers. Uh, so you knew her then? Sucked the life out of the hole, tried to sucker me and say too. But we ain't falling for her shit. Working at the bite, you mean? Yeah, you gotta be really desperate to go there. Not us, mister. Nah. I don't want anyone else to go missing. I can help. You can't do shit, but if you're upset, Florence. But if you upset, Florence, I will fucking skin you alive. That woman deserves some peace, you get me? She's at the factory, like always. Don't tell her I told you. Thanks for trusting me. You're making me wish I hadn't, and I will make you wish you hadn't, you get me? West factory, down the hall, you can see it from there, thanks. I can see it from here. This is the building. Oh, there we go. Gear. That's how you get to uh, to the factory. Oh, I thought it was to the left, but it was to the right, and then there's like an alley, if you want to call it like that, that you can pass. The guy is sleeping on the job. That should be easy. Just gotta find Florence. Okay. I probably can't get up because there's people over there <coughs> and they can alert alert the guards okay. is that Florence yeah 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 that was that yeah I know who it is already the bite snooper what are you doing here this old stone said I'm a bright investigator I'm looking for Rose how the fuck do you know about Rosie who sent you here? Uh, Rose is missed, but she may have clothes. So that, so, don't we got look at over and over? Can you tell me about her? Every little helps. You're here, good to me when we met. I look at trigger stuff. I ask everyone, nothing. How long has Rose been missing? Twenty days. Look, you got to go. Supervisor will be here in a minute. Where do you live? Can I come over talk to you later? Great tenements cross the road, block five. You wanna see Rose's room? Yes, that will help a lot. Then fine. We can sneak out now before the super is here. Let's go. Fire exit. Quickly. Alright. I remember this one. Immediately in the beginning. So you couldn't find Rosie in the beginning. Because she's like the lead for you to go and find the girls. So, uh... Uh... Show you what's on your mind. It's just feel weird, you know, having a man here again. Can you tell me about Rose? My baby girl was so sweet, strong, always took care of her mama. She wanted the best for me, but... Do you know if she had any secret hiding place in the apartment? I don't know, she was typing away on that terminal of hers. I never asked. She's the only thing I know she didn't want me seeing. How was your relationship? She respected me, but she didn't want to follow my footsteps. If I had done more for us, maybe. Maybe. Don't blame yourself, you did nothing wrong. Oh fuck, I pressed it too. And we didn't always talk as much as we might have. I get so tired from work, she didn't want to burn me. She should have opened to you. I told her she always cool, but she just got that look in her eyes, like she didn't believe me. So it was, but any reason she could have run away perhaps. I mean, a hundred one, but no, she will have told me if she was that unhappy. Okay. Uh, just put stuff back when you found it. I want to keep my baby girl room tidy. 
Uh, is that supposed to be like uh, Harry Potter, but uh, animal uh, animal form? Is there something else? Oh, there's a lot of stuff. What the hell is that? Bonk? Tapestry? Pictures? Bathroom? Pot plant? A shower? Okay, only that? Wait. Thought there will be like something else in there. Rose bedroom. Much closer than the rest of the house, as if Rose never went missing. And it's going to come home soon. Poor Florence. Posters. A crow. Okay, that's three on the terminal. Welcome Rose, enter your password. Password incorrect. Rose Clemenko? Shit, I forgot my password. Password cover initiate. Answer the following question, cover my identity. Favorite flower, Rose? What the hell is a carnation? Carnation? Oh, you need to go and find. What? But what the hell is a carnation? I don't even know what the hell is a carnation. This music, there, there. Book on flowers. <clears throat> the meaning of flowers. I got spiritual botany for beginners. Look up at the heart shaped flower. Earth, earth leaf philodendron is a space of flowering in plant of Araxi. Parts of the plant contain calcium oxalate crystals in varied concentrations. The plant is known to have a narcotic effect on rodents. The earth leaf philo philodendron is known as the sweetheart plant of the unique heart shape of its leaves. White flower. Bellish perenne is a common species of daisy of the family Astaraceae. Often considered the archetypal species of that name. It exhibits the phenomenon of heliotropism where the flowers follow the position of the sun in the sky. What about the yellow? A rose is flowering plant of the rose rose is found to say rose plants range in size from compact mirror. Okay, so probably it's the yellow one because it's like rose. It could be that. Yeah, it's the yellow, even over here it shows. In the tapestry. It's the yellow one. What? It doesn't have that one? Okay, it's Daisy. Question number two. Favorite plant? The Meow Meows. Yes. The Doggy Doo. Posters. Katia, she really she the true queen. Trying to see if it's not over here. So it has to be on the living room. Only if it's in the uh, in the bathroom. You know the password? Nope, I never want to know. Nope. I don't know how all those things anyway. And what if I saw something? Something like what? Like something that made me realize that you know her at all. You are scared, but there could be vital leads on there. If she was gonna deliver not, she would have wrote one, left it on the fridge or something. I'll give it a try. I'm gonna see it in the bathroom. No? Hmm. Wait, it can't be the flowers because it's only about the flowers, something else. I 
red everything over here. This only for the flowers. Do I have something uh, more over here? No, I can't do nothing with these ones. So. Cost cattle boys, it, uh, okay, probably it's this one then. Cattle boys. Cartier, it needs to be Cartier. Pet's name. It should be the, that one, but we don't have, right? Uh, what's your name? Rose Rock. She's what's your name? Tick 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 boing. Your name is boing 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 boing. Nope. Name please. Why are we? Are we? Are you sad little bird? Sad whistle. If I knew your name, it will be. It will help me find her. Ignush, work. Ignush, go for the eyes. Pleasure working with you, Ignush. Okay. Ignush, welcome back, Rose. There we go. Okay, it has to be school. There is 15 kilobytes in there. No, how about this works? Navigation. Oh, you don't have nothing? What the hell? Okay. Before. Uh, sometimes there is blood inside and outside of my body. I wish I could wash it away, but today no water runs in the bathtub. It doesn't feel me. It doesn't touch my shoulders, my knees, or my tights. I sit there silently waiting, breathing, letting the air in. She made of liquid tears, the empty envelopes, nothing in between. I'm others. During. Today is first day I'm sick of being told. No, of being bold. And the way my voice breaks when I say a thing without meaning. I used to sing in my head, but the theater is now full and the audience comes and goes. For instance, I never see the same face twice. Forgetting makes it easier. Therefore, I remember the music, but not the lyrics. After. Would you like to have some soup? Not really. I rather try the main course. The doctor says it's good for my, your imagination. Like that time when through slicing and grinding and chewing and speaking, the flesh speaks too, saying I am, I am, I am, I am. Leslie, Leslie, I love you. I am taken by this newfound multifacet moving force, commanding me in all directions. There was a gaping void inside my body, an ex expanded space within, left empty, waiting to let in bigger things. Nothing escaped and nothing gravitated around the hole. It just sat there without sigh, pronouncing the meaningless noise of existence. And then, out of nowhere, love turned. It encompassed the whole of my being. What was once now. The matter, new definition, new borders, new coping mechan mechanisms. I come up with new words, invent new ways to communicate with the widening world in front of the eyes that were once blind. Now I know. We spoke about our future and how it's impossible, but I found a way. Boss knows about her. She mentioned a scavenger that helps people like you and me. There's a life beyond the wall, and I want to live with you. Let me know. I'm going to stay with you, whatever you decide. Okay, work, <coughs> client, Buster Carpenter, it just security tag, official title is VIP public appearance Leanson, complete hassle, good whiskey, monkey butt, always trying to touch the girls, brags about who is being bodyguard, two mainly mid-level politicians who have been doing things they shouldn't have been, good source of tip-offs, keep happy. Frederick Muller. A content creepy account that talks very little, doesn't bother the girls directly, but stares. No one likes him, luckily he's a lightweight, passed out of the fuel. Has mentioned that he managed funds for a few apes, science minister included, and inter at knowing about the finance of the bite, hoping he'll slip up and overshare at some point. Warren Wolf, blacklisted, waves money around like snuffing, science city family, but hasn't been a great source of information. Probably doesn't know anything anyway. Positive pre, got aggressive and started raising his hand at both girls and other customers. Boss threw him out, say she had ways of dealing with him if he ever comes back. Good riddance. Guys Sleevers. Police chief talks shit about interior security. Also covers about science minister having him by the balls. 
Runs by runs his mouth, but not about much. Also, also file likes to beat baby tall. Ask Shina to try track specifics about his relationship with Science Minister. Doug Rogers, project artifact. What the fuck will that be? Science Minister. Okay, Doug Rogers. Careful, respect all girls. Drinks only in moderation. Secretive enters through the back alley. Only ever requested. Lastly, boss is a direct liaison. No one else allowed to speak to him. Seems to know boss well. Leslie doesn't like talking about him. Leslie spilled the mention project artifact also, and then shut down. Instigate. Bruce Vert, traffic minister, except among people loud and arrogant with girls. Has at least two lords besides his wife. Brags about his close working relationship with science minister, but obviously never sees him at the club. Only drinks sweet stuff, no whiskey or beer, very clearly tries to avoid the specifics of his work, but Leslie might be able to get something out of him. Ian McFerrick, liar, has a finger for Gina, married with children, goes, does monkey bug like he's sipping on tea, armless for a liar, so Gina got has a, a good fix, haunts his own firm, deals almost exclusive with apes and exit officials, has visited with both Vert and Stokes. Hedy Young, there's clearly something exciting going down at Science City, I need to tell him Head of biochemist at Science City, family man, likes to get drunk and cry on girls' shoulders, seems to be fired by the of science minister, boss told us to keep him sweet, seen boss speaking directly to him when she thought was alone, he looks depressed, mentioned project artifact to baby Gina, that's twice now, must be working on this with minister. John Stokes, treasurer, insufferable smoke, food and drinker and drink is, ne is never good enough, but he keeps ordering the same thing. Everyone hates him, but he throws tips around left and right, definitely spend money other than his own. Came in with Mulder a few times, asking for private rooms, tried listening in, but didn't catch much. Thirds conversation, what else is thirds? Dream team, host Klimenko, it's me. It's me, angry lady with a big butt. Maybe Jean, patient with the man, maybe too patient, I drug sales, not sure how that happens, sensitive. Try not to give her rowdy man. Not hot, no, wait, not a factory girl, move her to West End recently. Harry old, sweet girl, but not the brightest. Young, look, petite, fills a gap in our list. Lastly, fan, factory girl, close to my louder. Lives with her mother and a little brother, roots in the area. I know, smart girl, she'll fit in quickly if hire with Maya as a friend. Beautiful when she enters the room, it feels like a summer day. Rumors she swings the other way. My Lauder, factory girl, Leslie best friend, very reserved. I know, may need coaching how to handle clients. She's a stunner, all right, her boy is possessive, tell bouncer to watch out for him. Operation. Rose had a season, it wasn't all Clarissa, it, I will feel sick again. Stage 1, version 3, final, final. Team, higher attack, loyal girls that know how to make men talk. Start with factory, click, wider west end area. Offer good pay, no sex work, just listening, flirting and reporting to me. Intel, boss has access to monkey bot supply, helps losing tongues, mix 50-50 with... I have to make addictive, 75-25 when hooker to make them spill, never let girls try it. Source, create super exclusive VIP brand to attack the big boys, reward with guaranteed access to their favorite girls, make sure girl makes notes on dirt immediately after sessions for my eyes only. Deadbeats, boss will send up candidates to get one or two special girls to get them hooked and find out if they will never, if they will ever be missed. NB, write guidelines for girls, when we are sure invite them to room 2 with painting and call Sus. No way, this Rose and some other girls go over the wall. Wall directions. Contact name Dale. Meet under the bridge on the 5th at 12. She'll take us beyond the wall. Password Daisy Bloom. Okay. I think we got everything. Did you learn anything? Uh, Rose was spying on Cosmos at the bite. How do you... They were sacrificing hiding in their terminal. What now? Why should she hide them? Uh, 
Yo, that wasn't bitch sensitive you woman keeping tabs on bad people. The stupid girl tore smart are trouble. Do you think she's alive? I think she got into hiding. Hiding where? For how long? Long. Is she danger? Is she in danger? Uh, listen, when it's safe, she'll find you. You are a mother. Thank you for believing in her, in us. I've been living a nightmare. I'll do everything I can, Florence. There, there. Alright. Damn. That was a lot of information. But I think that she's hiding, is what it is. She got the information, now is hiding uh, uh, on that place because with that uh, password, you know. Welcome home, are you alright? I'm okay, how are you? I'm doing well, I think. I am excited to hear about what you found today. Okay, let's get on it. Sure, what did you find out? What's the connection between the girls? Uh, they all knew Rose. So do you know something about Rose that sheds light on it? She's Clarice's the right hand for VIP area. Uh, the two. What kind of information was Rose able to collect? Bear with me, the bite had two types of clients. They have two they the haves and the have nots. Which ones were mined for blackmail material like the police chief and folks from Science AT? The first one. It's an engineer set up to be fair. Poor ones no one will miss worse slot for flash like Jeremy. Of course, fucking Clarissa. Um don't leave me in suspense. Do you find any intel yep, especially on a senior scientist named Eddie Hung. Okay, so what's Eddie deal? Both his and the minister files match project artifact. I think it's not actually this. What do you think it is? No idea. Head the biochemist, that's all we know. Yeah. Wait, is that the same guy from Science City report we found in the minister files? Must be. We have to look into what this project artifact entails. Clearly, is interesting. It. Deal. Do you learn what happened to the girls? I think they escaped beyond the wall. The fuck? How? Why? Someone called a deal, smuggled them out. Then I'll start to ask this deal some questions. Say, but I go, I go, but I grow no leads on them at all. I got no leads. Could there be really something beyond the wall? Sure, a blast the wasteland. Being outside the wall is death by exile, not an escape. This all the process. We need a new plan. Uh, and fast, we are catching up to the two, we can't slow down. Damn, there's still so much we don't know. You did great Tom, especially trying to not get killed. The chill. Well, we'll get her to the answer she deserves. Anyway, let's talk next step. Finding Eddie Young and learning about the project artifact. It's all been leading to this, I'm ready. You want to go over the fires, get everything straight in your head? Sure, you can never get prepared. Good, I agree. What do you want to talk about? Missing girls. They got out behind the fucking wall. I really fucking hope so. I hope they are alive and happy. Anyway, it's not bad right now. Uh, science City. Something important out to the science tape and Clarice is going down there. We need to see for ourselves. Biochem's research. Yeah, the documents mentioned proteins. That's high level stuff. We need specifics. What do we know about Clarice? She's cahoots with science minister. Loves spying on everyone. Knows about project artifact. What's her hand game? Most likely leverage her relationship with the science minister to protect her own influence and power. Let's plan. We pay Eddie a visit at Science City and find the answers. Then we get the word out, the rest is up to the general public. How do I make him talk? Just employ your usual charm. And if it doesn't work, honest to whatever it takes, it will be our biggest chance to corner Clarissa. For the moment it is, you are a good detective, you'll figure it out. Let's fucking go. That's spirit. But before I do anything, I need to eat and sleep. You will sleep when you are dead. I'll go grab something at the bodega. Put your feet up until I'm back. You've earned it, Okay. 
Someone is calling, what the hell? Yep, it's coming up, I'm finished the uh, chapter. Busy now, I'll call you back tomorrow, bye. Oh, the boss offer, okay. Put your feet up, I'll be back soon. Hopefully nothing happens to her. Never know. Nice day, maybe everything will be fine. <laughs> Reading the newspaper. That's not gonna shit. Oh fuck this rat. Well, aren't you going to offer me some tea? I always had you down as a champagne girl. Call me girl again, I'll have you down as a corpse. Call me right up. Uh, simple red cup. She seems calm, better keep her that way. But how nice will you feel to eat her in the face? It's probably nice because I know how to do this. Chew. Yes, worst thing that Koaba will die today. I hope Hane is okay. Can't we hit uh, the rat and run? He has a gun, that's the problem. How the hell they knew we were over here? Did someone follow us? Oh, I need to see my. I wonder where you got it. In the app of your competition, officer, which I won. Now, our author. This is going to be a very linear conversation. I ask a question and you answer. And remember, I know when you are lying. Is that clear? Yes. Question number one Do you know why I'm here? Uh, I don't know. It will really surprise if I have to do all the talking. Less uh, talk. We are both professionals. You are new, we prefer Dick with a photography de degree. Who hired you? Me, I'm just a curious type. Curious about me? I'm father. What's their name? I don't know what we're talking about. If you're not cooperating, then you are not useful to me. It's not an ideal situation to be in, really. Might be deadly, even. Helen Abraham. Gold. If it's not, Sus will make you regret lying. It's the truth, as far as I can know. Yes, let's talk about what you know. And what you have found? Sure, what shall I start? Right after this snooper on my bar, coerced my shopkeeper and spread rumors about me all over West, uh, West Hand. Nailed it. Good boy, what else did you find? Give me the full picture of your sophisticated investigation. Pretty sure that's it. You absolutely sure about that? Uh, pretty sure. Stop this all. Did any anything catch your eye at the science minister's apartment? How the hell did she know I was there? He's protecting you, covering you up for you. As expected. Do you understand why? He's care of you. Obviously, but I doubt that's all there is to it. It's a here's an offer. You work for me and find out the truth. I can figure it out on my own now if I want. In that case, I must ask you not to. My plans do not account for meddlesome raccoon boy, unless he works for me, of course. What do I get in return? You get to do what you are best at for a good cause, and I'll keep you safe. Give it time and think. The answer is no. Yet, give it time and think. Thanks for stopping by. My final question. So much misguided effort spent pursuing only the shadow of the big picture. Why? I need to know that people get what they deserve. And I urge you to think carefully about my offer. And about what you deserve. See you around, Miss Lauter. Send your mom my regards. You fucking piece of shit. Funny how the weakest of us are the angriest. Sus, say goodbye to Mr. Lauter. Uh, 
What? No. Damn. We can't even fight back. We need to take care of the rat first. Fuck, fuck. Rene is not coming back. I gotta go through. I can't stop now. Hey, it's sour. Oh no, sad voice, what happened, party? You want me to get you some cocoa? I need your help. Anything for you, friend, tell me. Spill the beach. Fill up my cup with car bounce. Let's go, I'm here. Can you pick up tomorrow? Oh yeah, what's the plan? Science City. Whoa! Same place at night then? Yeah, one more thing. Yeah, buddy. Get get you some added, added pills. Can you get me uh, a gun? Oh, I'll see what I can do. You wanna tell me what's up? Sorry friend, I can't talk to you tomorrow. Sure thing, but yo, I understand. Now go and rest them bones, mate. McKay, what? Jesus, some of those words are like that. This guy, Anatoly, cut some words in a weird way. Act 3. Artifact. Project Artifact. Did you bring it? Yeah, check the golf box. You know how to use it? I do. Goody. Sometimes folks forget things in this car. Things with cell numbers file it down. Crazy. Drop me uh, off at Science City Enters. Then wait on Granville. Granville? The parade's on today, remember? Main Street's too crowded for cars. But I'll see if I can find any empty alley. Oh, and how? Stay safe. Science City. Damn, look at this place. Join the tour. Welcome once again to Science City, where, where we match tomorrow. Please pay attention. <clears throat> Do not attempt to leave the group and enjoy. Follow me. I have a quick question. I'll be quite quite after our first stop. Do not interrupt me. Aggressive. Here we have a stunning mosaic picking the, the great shepherd commissioned 10 years ago by uh, the previous science minister. Let's discuss the symbolism of it. The split crook is symbol from which the shepherd gets his name. The inner fire represents shepherd wrath over the unruly and of course the scales of fate with which he weight each of the, his new proclamations. And behind all the glorious wall, the shepherd great war, which figuratively and literally protects his followers from the malicious influence of the outside world. Before we move on, any questions? Was there something you didn't understand? Where are the toilets? <clears throat> there will be a sky from break later in the tour. What's with the cocks and steams? The section of the industry, the great work and science, scientific advancement our kinds are capable of. The image is made up of more... Okay. What's up with the fruit? It represents shepherd love and understanding of nature. Grapes, pearls, pearls, apples, all delicious nurturing and native to the land. Okay. Next up, this bust was erected in honor of Harrison Chevers, one of the founding committee for Science City and its principal planner. Chevers was a lifetime de devotee of sacred geometry and science, the interior architecture to mimic natural structures and process. What else did he build? His most notable other works are the City Heart Gallery and Sun Tower buildings. He was the most prolific architect of his generation. Okay, when is the scale toilet break? Sir, please, I will announce it at the allotted stop of the tour. I do trust you can cope until then. Oh, I have a question. If our science gets advanced enough, will we get as powerful as the Shepherd? Yeah, will we? Well, now, in many ways, we already are. Given we all carry the chapel within our hearts, each technological advance is shared glory. Right, makes perfect sense. Okay. Where can we go to the toilet? There's plenty of fascinating sites still to come up, but don't forget to stop by the gift shop afterwards and come right to visit with a miniature replica of the building. 
Can I buy a tour of the labs? I'm afraid that's not on our list of VIP experience days now. The labs are sensitive work environments. Won't it make more sense to exit through the gift shop? Look, I don't plan the tour route, okay? I just do the script. You want to take over? Shall we go? Okay. We proceed. Here you can see a perfectly scale replica of the entire building. Besides the actual laboratories, you might notice the amenities for the families that live here, such as rooftop, gardens, and sports facilities. The folks here have everything. <coughs> Absolutely, we have a proud sport that we are able to provide the city brightest minds. But of course, I thought the facilities are such that they really need to. We spare no expense when it comes to those responsible for scientific advancement of our city. This place is huge! The building is 112 47 meters tall and contains 17 floors. The half is perfectly proportional. However, many are born into the right kind of course. Happy for them. Yeah. Moving on, this lab has been specifically set up to give you an idea of what's going on in the upper levels. It's really working environment. But of course, it's only given us of our routine calculations, uh, plenty of what we are doing is very sensitive and potentially disturbing to the untrained eye after all. So what's being worked on for real? All man of excited but confidential developments. Keep your eyes on the news, I'm sure it won't be long until another great discovery. How disturbing. I think I misspoke, it's just that experience can often look intimidating when they are actually perfectly safe and controlled. Okay. Let's look close at life within Science City, have you wondered? I always wondered. Uh, well now, you have to find out each room is full of experimental technology and appliance being tested before being made available to the general public. Can I see what the labs look like? We displayed an example of toy setup for precisely that reason. So the devices are being tested on? That's certainly one way of putting it, but I assure you, only for their own benefit. You won't hear any complaints from our residents. No sir, as I said before, the accommodation is reserved for science it workers and their families. Okay, no normal people. <coughs> we'll now stop for a short refreshment break. The restrooms are around the corner, we'll resume the tour in 5 minutes, sharp. Wow, it was getting close, I, have sometimes, I sometimes have bad rooms, don't wait up. Uh, just catch up with us down the hall, sir, or don't. I'm gonna hide uh, in the toilet until they leave, just like in old, good old school. Okay. Hide in the bathroom. Because if not, they don't let me move. They're gone, let's see if uh, the elevator works. Should work. Where are you, Eddie? What is this? Better search people are terrible and plan. No way of knowing whether Eddie works in any of these. Maybe have a read later. What? Oh, what else is this? A garden hotel? Fishes. How do you, you lost two? Nope, I totally belong here. Okay, nice place you got uh, here. Yeah, Science City, my place, nice. Maybe I could work here one day? Yeah, you go with science? Not really, but it's nice here. I, I like nice things and, and place and people. Good luck, Paul. Oh, would you like to take a photo, please? A photo of you? Yeah, make sure to get that cool view in shot. Sorry, no, pretend like I was never here. Don't know what you mean, but okay. I'll have to take one myself. If only there was a cool name for that kind of photo. <laughs> uh, me snaps? That's a rat. I'm totally using that up for now. My gift to you, bye. Alexander. 
Hey, do you know Eddie Young? Uh, I really don't go in for gods, I just focus on green people. Decent gods with Zipporah. So, so, even if I knew the guy was, I really tried to mind on my business. Are you gardening here? I brought the I want your job. Making tiny little plant mutants, no, that sounds scary. Basically, I'm making cross breeds of various kinds of plants. Isn't that dangerous? Nothing will go, you'll try and try to eat you. Nope, I think. I'm pretty confident. Are you keeping a record of all this? I already got about 10 field notebooks tracking the pirates and cross, so I can figure out which traits are dominant and resistant. It's very cool. Call it this guy B. Eddie, there we go. I'm on my way. Oh my gosh, are you thinking you are? I don't know, and I don't care to know. Sorry to have bothered you, Mr. Hank. Dr. Hank, kids these days, you too, Eddie. It's just walk it off. Fuck. Does he know something? Yeah. Are you lost? He doesn't like you should be up here. I'm helping Eddie Hunk. Oh, that's interesting. I know he's been stressed lately. I'm glad he's getting some support. Uh, anyone I should watch out for? I'll let you figure it out there, so that's part one. Any tip for newbies? Work hard, kiss ass, don't fuck up. He's respect is smart. I heard he's caught the eye of some powerful people recently. I just hope he knows how to handle it. What's life like here? Save is boring. I have thought people like you will value save to your shield. Okay. Shikari. Okay. Do we need to infiltrate the lab? Where did he go? The fucking guy is fast as hell. Okay, read newspaper, weird. Oh, what, will you wait for him, is it? Aha. He's alone, this is my chance. Threaten Heady. I have a gun. Open the door. Don't make a sound. Okay, calm down. That's why I wanted a gun. Not only for protection, but you can threaten people with this. And like that, you can enter into place. Sit down. One son, and you are dead. Is this inside what you want? Shut the fuck up! Let me think. <laughs> okay, restrain him. Answer my questions, understand? Yes. What I'm looking at here, a new virus perhaps? It's a plant cell, the green clumps are merely nucleons and chloroplast. What the fuck is that? What are these plants? It's basically algae. I'm testing its photosynthesis properties. Alright, cool. What are these machines for? Well, one is my radio, the other is a single generator. Now let's see if I can get the truth out of you. Alright. Now we have to talk to him. Uh, who are you? I'm the one question here. Ask away, just don't get angry if the answers don't fit convenient together. What's Project Artifact? Where did you invent such a fanciful name? 
you spill while getting drunk at the bite. Where? Well, it sounds ludicrous. If there is any such project going on here, I'm sure I'm not privy to it. You better think again. I also don't know what you're talking about. What's your connection colorism? Connection never met her. Then uh, how does she have blackmail on you? What? You're the only one with an unhealthy interest in me. Claire is interested in this lab. Why? I, why would she? I, have, I will have no idea about it. Don't I don't consult with criminals. You're lying. I'm sorry. She's not sorry, but I'm a scientist, not a gangster. Tell me about yourself. I'm a biochemist. Worked here virtually my whole life. I'm a devoted family man. Be a shame if anything happened to your family. Yes, and I think it would shame. That's why I won't risk it anyway. You can't cover your charge with all it takes one slip up. I only do what I'm told. It makes you a slave. Maybe a useful slave and happy slave. What's your relationship with the, to the science minister? I'm such a research scientist. Why would I have a relationship with him? Because he asked you to keep a secret. If he did, and I told you he didn't, would you believe me? You take a secret orders from him directly. No, there is a strict protocol here. Chief Tanner has final oversight. I have a copy of a report you made directly, and only to the minister. What? How? I mean, sure, of course he gets copies of my reports. It's not like he replies. Look, I'm doing important work here, work that will help us fight disease, understand our bodies. It's just, I'm just doing my job. I'll be judge of that. I mean, honest with you, Ed, I know you are not telling the truth. What? Don't be ridiculous. I told you everything I know. Please be rational. The simplest explanation is usually the true one. The clearly and science means are losing you. I don't understand what you're saying. I don't want to hurt you, but I will. I told you everything I know. Please, just say the words. Meanwhile, let me look for something sharp. Wonder what will happen if I stick this into your eye socket. Wait, 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 okay, I'll show you that try. Cool, that sh will be I've been messy. There's a secret house behind the shelf to the left. I'll give you the tour. What's your word, Sadie? What's in there? It's a technology I'm searching. Possible to describe. Please let me show you. The hell is this? Ah yes, my lizards. What are you doing to them? Might be easier to explain by showing you, you what happens to them. I hope it doesn't upset you to learn that they have all such specimens. Let's get to the point, Eddie. The fuck? Fascinating, is it not? What's this? We don't know exactly. Evolution is not really my specialty, but it's clearly a significant find. Whose skull is this? Either some kind of an ancestor or an extinct kind. Never seen anything like this before. Show me the artifact. Lizard man. Whoa. This there will be Hey, what the ever living fuck am I looking at? This is what the minister has me working on. This feels wrong, what the fuck? This science, right, wrong, all that much new understanding. Start explaining. We are experimenting with combined in a spl splicing species. That will be a combination of a lizard and a canine. Why? It's the artifact. I control it. I teach it. What is the artifact? You can see for yourself. Show me. It's there in the asthma tent. Let's go. Why does it need so much protection? It's a great scientific puzzle and opportunity of our time. I and I alone get to study it. What did you learn about so far? It's an advanced organic biotechnology. It's happily reforms organisms, but we haven't figured out its pattern or intent yet. Who found it? I don't know. I'm as in dark as you about exactly where it was found. Who could have made it? I have my own private theories, but it's pointless to speculate. It's not easy to look at, just so you know. I don't care, I'm ready to see it. Mm. Just to be careful, don't touch anything. There's still so much we don't know about it reacts to stimuli. Oh shit, what the hell it is? The fuck? Don't touch, he said not touch. Whoa. 
Oh fuck, it's breaking. Oh no, it got us! Uh, it entered into us, what the fuck? Was that supposed to happen? Fine, I'm not totally. Why do we look like we are set? But what the hell was that like dark matter that entered into us? I think we got like possessed by that now. Where the fuck is Anatoly? He said that he will he was gonna try to find a place to be. What is going on now? Okay, this is some weird shit. Like I think it looks like that uh, black mat is filling up. If I'm not mistaken. What the fuck? This is some weird shit. Calm, mom. <laughs> Anatoly is over there, I see it. Uh oh. What else is going to happen? Oh fuck, we are transforming into something. Ooh. And we kill Anatoly. What the hell, something came up from us. What the hell? Is that supposed to happen or uh, there was a way to uh, do it differently? That's some weird, weird shit. Apoptosis Act 4. We, we changed but we changed nothing. I'm in my apartment. The time time moves through you and you stand still. You are alone. I don't want to be alone. Nobody will ever understand you. You are just a projection inside their heads. I want to be touched. To finally be touched, be understood. As if a simple act of knowing could reverse the pain. You thought you will be the one to finally know you. I'm looking for her. It is your wishful thinking opening to work this way. It doesn't feel like anything. She was never really there. Can I feel once more? You change, but you change nothing. I don't want to change. There is always the last time that you see everyone. There is always a never again. I exist again. Oh my god. 
meet people and or spend time alone, make a plan. What the fuck? Gaze upon myself. Try to recognize myself. I am, I am, I am. You are, you are, you are. Refocus the gaze. Take another look. Let me know what you think. Look at my back. Multiple bubbles, tumors are tearing through your shirt. Pulsating, hungering for control over your lean. Deactivate the flesh vessel. Touch the tumors. Wet, malleable, greasy tissue. Your fingers make indentations on each of each exterior. Something inside of it is pushing back with force. Listen to tumors. The flesh speaks again, but in a language you can't understand. Fox gaze. Look at my face. Scats of life leave a path taken, words pronounced. The newborn flesh is dripping through you, the seams, discovering the bondage of what it means to be you. I know who I am. This will not be the last. Touch my face. Your fingers stick to the surface of your cheek, tissue stretching as you rip out a small patch of flesh. It immediately grows back. Your dilated pupils reflect dim light coming from the opening in town. Your air eyes are unstable liquid spheres of muddy color. Fox case. Stumble away. What the fuck? Oh, you are finally awake. You are your. You have been out for two days. Anatoly. Take it easy. What in Shepard's name was that man? What the fuck is that thing on your back? What did you do to me at the end of the team? I don't know what happened. Where are we? We are under the bridge now, among friends. No one knows you. We are here. What's happening to me? You have been in and out with a bad fever. What's that thing on your back? It's an alien. Uh, Larry. Larry. Alien tumor growing on your spine. What the fuck, Howard? How bad it is? How does it feel? It's pulsating. Dear me. I don't know, my mind is foggy. What the fuck, dude? How did this happen? I was in fact by an organism in a secret government lab. Uh, sure, you must still have a fever. How can I help? How did you get here? Through the sewers. I found you in the alley near a dead body. But there was no yapping or anything. You were totally out of it. Did I kill Anatoly? Let's talk about this later, okay? You're going to be alright. Better not worry. It's this thing, it killed him. What do you mean? This thing, it pierced him. Howard, it's not your fault, please. I want to help you. I'm so sorry. It's the thing on my back. Oh, come the fuck down. You're fine. It's alright. We'll figure it out together. I don't know what to do. It's honestly best if we don't talk about this right now. <laughs> You're still in shock. I don't want to make it worse. Are you angry? I fucked it. I fucked everything up. Calm down, are we? We are together. And we are safe. I gotta get out of here. Gotta warn her. Who? About what? It's all connected. Means to the secret lab. Yeah, this. You are valid. Take it easy, Oi. How about the nap? I got to tell Rene everything, Larry. Please. You are not going anywhere. The state you are in. Who's Rene? She's the one I need to protect. Okay, but maybe not your current state. I don't know what to do. Please tell me what to do. Listen, we'll figure out what to do later. Sun will go down soon. It will be better to get the fire started. Can you walk? Sure. I'll rest up to start the fuel. Can you get me some firewood? Ask people at the camp where to find it. That should be within my powers. While you're at it, look around and get to know folks. This is going to be your new home for a while. Get to know folks right if I hurt someone. You won't. I'm alright, see? I gotta run some errands. Away from camp. We'll make a plan together. Later, I promise. Share a plan. We'll figure this out as a team. I'll take care of you, but I need to do a thing first. Now go find some hope. Make sure it's dry. Casey. I am our nice to meet you. I am Casey. Sorry about the look. It's okay. Did I tell you I'll be alright? Mm. Nice meeting you. Sorry, I'm just very tired. I know the feeling. Dale. Oh, you want C guy? Welcome, my name is Dale. Wait, are you the Dale of that message, Rose? How do you know about Rose? And don't fucking lie to me. I will know, and I will fuck you up. 
I know her mother, Florence. Florence, I'll try to find her. How did you meet Florence? As part of my investigation into the missing girls. Why? For whom? Speak straight, boy. For my partner, Rene. She's an investigating journalist. And what are you, where are you investigating exactly? Clarissa and what she did to the girls. Well, you are a shit investigator then. How so? I'm a scavenger. I get people over the wall. Ross is safe. Clarissa is the one sponsoring the whole operation. What? Clarissa f is funding you? We have a deal with her, yeah, she helps get the people out. But she's a fucking murderer. I heard about that, I don't give two shits about where the money comes from. As long as I can go, at, go outside and help people. I'm not quite sure about what to say. What to say, what does it mean? She's alive, that's all I can tell you. What about uh, Leslie Pham or May Lauder? Leslie is first, May didn't make it. Why do you mean she made? She was shot on the way there. I'm sorry. Shot by whom? Whom do you think? Power Patrol. We did what we could. I couldn't tell you more. I won't leave it again. Can't you tell Florence? It kills me, but no. For all safety, she can't know. One sleep and that will be it. I'm glad Ross is okay. Uh, so you have all the people escape too? Not as many as I would like, it's a risky process. How risky? It takes months of prep, a few people are involved, but they can't have much contact, and if you ever fail, you are incredible. It's just me or, or something I have to do. Thank you for explaining. Uh, do you know where I can find some fire hole? Keep on aiming left, it's not excited for us, but you'll find it. Okay, so we know host is alive. That's a good thing. This branch looks interesting. I would. At least now we know uh, Leslie and Rose are, are okay, they are safe. Uh, my didn't, uh, s couldn't be saved, unfortunately. She got shot by the Border Patrol. But they can't say it to uh, Florence because, like, a uh, sleepy and can uh, fuck everything. But Clarissa is funding everyone. Weird. Death is coming to us all. No reason to be uncool about it. I don't want to think about it. It's not like you have a choice. Of course, I have a choice. Are you sure? Yes. Interesting. I know you better than anyone, and yet I can tell you are lying. You can never truly know anyone. Most of all, yourself. Time to work, wake up. I exist again. Oh, this thing is uh, increasing more and more, is it? Oh, Larry. Got hot? Sure, now what? Oh, do you remember how fire works, right? Larry, I never appreciate you enough. That's nice of you to say, but so much has changed since we share a bunk bed in the dorm. It's okay. I know, I wish you could meet Rene Top. Rene is the most important thing to you, isn't it? She is my partner, she could be in danger. Doesn't seem like she's trying very hard to find you though. Uh, she has to be careful, she'll do everything she can. Maybe, but you don't need her, are we? I can't do this without her, so go find her, see if I care. Soon as I got my strength bed, I will. Stay here with us, you could do some real good here. I think I will like that. I'm just all mixed up. And then what? What comes after? I don't know how. I'm just living one day at a time here. You could, you should try. Easy for you to say. I know you are sick. Getting all work up isn't going to help with whatever you're going on. It's about what I need to do. Look, let's just get through tonight. Tomorrow we can figure out a plan for whatever you want to do. You promise we'll talk tonight. It's late already. Can't we just chill by a nice warm fire? We both need to relax. Okay. Jesus. This guy lied to me. Okay, so now what? Because I say to all that I'm worried about Rene. 
you again who are you i am what i am you are what you are i am my thoughts and what are they made of whatever i decide what is yours and what is theirs you are creating the image of someone else someone else only exists inside you of you endless cycle of creation brace yourself for the current I'm ready. You won't ever be ready. Change sweeps you uh -huh, when you at least expect it, and then you have changed it, but you change nothing. I exist again. You can wake up, Larry, or not. Hey, you trying to sneak out on me? You just look cozy. Yeah, I'm a very good snuggle buggle. I gotta go. Hang on, can we have a chat first? What happened to you and our plan? Let's get to the planning. Sure, you don't want to talk about what happened. It's not good to bottle everything up. Yeah, fine, I suppose you deserve to be brought up to speed. Yeah, shade weight, dude. Bullow is killing people and apes eat them. Are you sure nobody follows? Fairly. I drag you through the damn sewers or hour. Go on. I went to Science Eat our last lead. They were making mutants there. If you were anyone else, I'll say you were so screwing with me. I wish I was. Fuck, you know I always got your back, but I'm out of my death here. How can I help? Uh, can you track Henry Wilson down? I can ask around my usual contacts. A few of us keep our ears to the ground and trade rumors. But do you have any leads for me? Uh, she has a, bol a bolt hole near Albany Street. I don't know the exact street. It's a start. I'll be careful and ask my uh, my and ask my more snoopy friends to keep their eyes peeled. Are they reliable? What are our chances here? I can ask around, but I can't promise anything. What you look like? This one, the first one. Okay, I'll see what I can do. You might owe some slightly unusual people a big favor, though. Uh. I'm ready to make my decision. What do we? I can only do one thing today, but we might try again tomorrow. Try to find Rene. I'll ask the usual suspects, but I really can't promise anything. You are true friend, Larry. I'm glad to be. Wish me luck. In the meantime, get to know folks. Maybe help prepare the group dinner tonight. You sure I'm invited? Of course. You are one of us now. You should help them out while I'm gone. Wait for it to return, meet people or spend time alone. Roger that! Hello, young fellow, I'm Roger Bad, the pleasure to meet you. I'm our. Forgive me for being blunt, but I'm a doctor. What's the nature of your affliction? Never seen anything like it. <laughs> Can I see it? I'm not sure, it's complicated. I'm happy to hear if you ever want the next professional opinion, best sure to have this thing. Uh, thanks, I'll bear that in mind. Well, I, I won't keep you. I got a few remedies to prepare, but do let me know if you ever need a checkup. Thanks, Joshua. Bye. Joshua. Whoa, though, you look whack. I'm Howard. You'll better just speak to my dad. Will do. Uh, is there anything I can help? That would be very kind of you. I got my hands full with everyone else's requests. I'm yours to command. I think a cup of tea will do me go, but I need some herbs. You can find them in the forestly area nearby and on the farm. Joshua was just about to go. You can keep him company. Joshua's already going adventure. I'm not fucking 12. Come on, Joshua. He'll do both. You go. What exercise do you need? Calendula. Time and sage. Come on, man, let's go. What? Isn't this the right way? Time? Hey, how are you? All better for seeing you. Yeah, I tend to have the effect on people. Need help on gardening? Of course, let's get dirty. Okay, where do I start? Now, probably should have gone find the, the, those things for that guy. I'm looking for some sage. Going any? 
Sure, it's basically a parallel here. What do you got in mind? I'm up in Roger with his cough, keep myself busy. Ah, it's the shirt. Thank you. Here, I'll cut you a few stems, appreciate it. No problem. Okay. So, what the fuck is that thing on your back? Wish I fucking knew. Cool, welcome, I guess. Do it off a few words, huh? I like it. Don't know, maybe. I'm just chill here. Don't tell my dad I'm smoking. I could do smoke, I guess. Sure, there you go. You happy here? It's a bit lonely, but it's the best place for me. Where would you rather be? Don't know. I'm not seeing anything better, but he, there aren't many folks my age here. Why are you here? They stole me in the city for us. Here is pretty good, though, huh? Would you rather be somewhere else? Don't know. It's boring here, but at least it's safe. Where were you before? I was too young to remember. Dad doesn't like to talk about it. Okay, lighters. Sit alone. No, I don't want to sit alone. I think I got everything to give to that guy, to his dad. The remedy, so... I'm gonna give to him. Joshua didn't come back with you. He's still hanging on the walls. Look at birds and trees. Ah, it's good. It's cool, despite his death. Well, I got your tea. Ah, excellent. Thank you. Hope it helps. Thank you, Howard, and for spending time with Josh. Did it pass time? Still have more time. Ryan? Hey, Harry. It's our Sure it is. You want in some action? Let's play. Put your butt in the seat, boy. Go easy on me. How are you feeling today, chap? Fine. Well, tonight's dinner should be jolly. Always cool to get the whole gang together. I'm helping out. I want to feel useful. I think that's super, a super idea. Good on you. What did you leave behind coming north? Oh, you know, the usual, a pile of debts, a bundle of regrets, an assortment of useless junk, and too many books. Hey, you can never have too many books. Oh, I think I had too many books. No, I don't have enough. Did you have any of the Horatio Hornswoggle and the Diamond Bride series? I had everything apart from the Horatio Hornswoggle. That's for kids. Yeah, I mean, I love it as a kid. I hear a sharp, whole hours die hard, right? Yeah, I don't want to change. And I'm not scared to. I'll bet it's going. Okay. Beer. Hey, our right? A beautiful day we are having. You are cheerful. I try to be. Honestly, it's not too hard. This is your first time hanging with streeties. Uh, yeah, it's another life. Is it really that different? There's still people and music here. I've never been a part of community before. Does it feel cool? I mean, Ryan knows me, but we accept each other. How? How? Uh, give it, give and take, I suppose. Is that what you meant? I'm more than I was before. I think I hear you. Talking about past lives can be painful. Much better to make music about them. There's a crab in your toba. You mean Andre? How long it, has he lived there? A couple of years. He's just moving one day, doesn't mind to see the noise, so I thought, why not? Doesn't he affect the sound? He has a certain timbre to it. Yeah, it's my signature's sound now. What does he hit? Oh, it's just about anything. His favorite is carrot. Anyway, wanna play something together? Is that the vintage? I'm always up for friendly jam. Have you got something I can play? Yeah, you get that tomorrow for you. Just follow my lead. Do I need to press something? But you don't, you don't need to press anything. <clears throat> I thought that would be like, you know, a quick time event or something like that. But no.
Nicely done, nicely done. The geyser. The geyser was the cell and looks more of a deal. I am friend. The geyser of Shenzhen in an arch and sandals calmly onto its own arch. I make what can only be described as a raspy purring sound. Reach out to pet the geyser. Staring deep into your eyes, the geyser extends your neck a little to place her head on your palm. She woofs in contempt as you gently scratch her back of her head. Ah, yes. The geyser is our friend too. Hey, are we ready for dinner? Where's Larry? I'm not sure, he might turn up later. Does he have to miss dinner? I'm afraid it's not an hour off. He has a list of substance abuse. Exactly, it's in the past. I'm already afraid it's a present issue. No way, he went to see to help me. Perhaps he did, but he's still is liable to be forgetful when he's procuring his fa fancies. Okay, I'll talk sense to it. You're welcome to try. I'm sorry you didn't know. Try and enjoy the dinner. Where are you getting the lunch for the habit? I'm not sure. As I know, he's never asked any of us for it. Nothing has been stolen. I'll get through to him. I hope so. All the document will be so sad to lose him. But he's playing with fire. If I, anyone can do it, it's me. You'll be a hero. And heroes need full stomach. Shall we eat? Let's do it. I hope he didn't uh, went snitch. Where is uh, Rene? Fuck. Hope he didn't do that. Like he went to to that place where I said that address. Bro, it could be that that is uh, late. He's over there already. The hell. He's near us. Can you do something? No. Okay. Like in the community, everyone around the fire. Like to see how, how everything starts and how we are in here. Like with the homeless under the bridge. Like Jesus. I wonder if he found the uh, Gene or not. But the problem is, is he going to be a way to uh, to cure that uh, thing that he has in his back, or uh, it's going to belong to him now? Why will he add to all that? He, the dog, that guy. He, he even said the Eddie he even said not to touch no this is a cutscene Something is supposed to happen? So, okay, it's to hear the music, right? And uh, like, but is something else supposed to happen? Don't kill me, don't don't tell me he's gonna kill everyone in there with, because of the, what he has in his back.
show the ending. Uh oh, it's the fucking rat. It's like he's over there. How the hell they knew we were over here? Seriously. Did uh, Larry told about us? Was it? Oh my fucking god. It thought we, how the hell they knew we were here? Like, Larry pick up, we said to go to the seat, to that place, right? Where to. Cool, Hene could be. Did you went and tell Clarissa about us, is it? Are you a snitch dude? That's how you get your loons, is it? Show us yourself, what have you been, what are you, what have you aspired to become? I'm a person, what others see in me? That is a, just a small fraction of your externalized identity. What does it mean to truly show someone every facet of what makes you I'm gonna say the third. Love yourself through the love of others. Know yourself through the small reach of truth. We are all one. Breathing in unison, rhythmically becoming, pulsating. I am, I am, I am. We are, we are, we are. We. Survive. I can't see any way to get it open. I lock the door, can't see anything to the keyhole. Cage wall, where am I? What is this fucking container? Whoa. Clarice, of course. <clears throat> you are awake. Are my friends okay if you hurt them? Those strangers you, you were hiding with, it was you I was after. If any of them got hurt, it wasn't by my hand. Do you know what's inside me? It's a symbiotic organism that splices its own genetic code with a host and rapidly express a new code. And now it's my in my hands it's safe. You'll lose it to make people suffer as always. I'll lose it to level the field. If I hadn't been me dealing the flesh, it would have been worse. The apes they think they are untouchable, they are getting out of control. You exiled those girls. I took care of them. I helped them start a new life. What's your plan for that fact? I'll find a use for it. It's none of your peace, your concern. You want to unlock the secret of to eternal life? Oh, you can be sure I have that already. My name is going to be right into the history of this city. Hatch it deep into people's memories. I don't need the artifact for that. You have to stop sacrificing people for you. That fact changed everything, Howard. Not that I need your forgiveness, but trust me, I'm not like the apes. You don't have to do it alone. Let me help. I'd better get going, Howard. I'm generally sorry it worked out this way. Clay's a wait. Shit. I think I hear someone just outside. Doesn't smell like Clarissa. Bell. Sorry, Bell, but I'm supposed to not supposed to talk to you. What do you mean? There's just nothing I can offer you, and this will be easier for me if I don't know. Is Clarice threatening you, blackmailing you? No, I have my own risk for working for her. I've helped people except Clarice, I can help you too. I'm afraid it doesn't seem like you are in much of a position to do that at the moment, even if I wanted to, which I don't. So, we can run some tests on you, that's all I know. So Kalisa doesn't trust you? She does, I just didn't ask. Not everything is my business, but I'm sorry you are in this situation. So let me out. I sincerely hope you survive the tests, but what happens then isn't up to me. It could be, do the right thing. Hmm, I'll best get back my preparations. Wait! Fuck. Now what? Small table. It's an empty shelf or a small table, not exactly useful. What smell? Shit, I think it's coming from the vents. Damn it. I wonder if there was a way to get out of there. Oh god. What the fuck are you guys doing to me, motherfuckers? 
fucking rabbit. She must have dropped this, it's mine now. Ha, huh, you're awake alright. Seems like the anesthetic is not very effect on you. I'll smart next time. Finally, yes. Huh? What are you saying? Are you done? Not yet, we need to start another test. I'm really sorry. This will change you too. Oh god. the hell are they doing to us? I know it's a test, but Jesus. But we had a pen, couldn't we like stab on to her? Ah, but we couldn't move the, the arms right to reach, so. But do they know how to cure this? I wonder. The other way became undone and everything reverts back to discomfort and uncertainty. The true state of all things. Mm, things that were done to us. We burst to, into this new identity and we have to bear the brunt of losing it. Maybe we pushed it too hard and damaged the shell that kept everything together. That gave us a definition. We are together, we are becoming. There is no longer movement, just stillness of passing through time. Waiting for the hand, for the border to shift, for the start of a new purpose. There will be none. We demand a purpose. We keep reaching into the past, our limbs sliding through the centuries of slummy uh, gunk feeling for beats of trauma and events that could somehow elaborate our, our anguish. There are answers somewhere. Nothing stays the same, no one knows anything. We be calm. I hear footstep part of a knock. Good morning, how are you feeling? What are the tasks will say? I haven't yet had time to do any analysis, and I'm sorry, but there will be more. This is for you too, isn't it? Yes, that is totally out of... Oh, you mean emotionally? Of course I fucking meant that. Yes, it's weird, and I feel guilty for feeling uncomfortable. Do you have enough water? Sure, could you do some fresh air too? I'll open a window, as if that's going to help. Geezer! You got something for me? A note? However, if this reach you, I am where I found you on your ass at 9 every night. I showed the geezer your photo, told him to check the unusual place. I'm sorry I didn't come back that day, I was being followed. I'm worried about you, I've asked around, but you are holding out on me. Hope we can have tea together again soon here. Can you take back my reply? I'll write it on back. Uh, it's all clear, it's an science ape. It's all clear and science safe. She caught me. I won't be over for long. If I can't escape, thank you for everything. If I can't escape, thank you for everything. Thanks, friend. Fly safe. Oh, I got a feather. What can you do with a feather? Shit. Don't touch it. Pocket the butter. Inspect the bandage. The front of one is spelled with dry blood, some of it are dark, almost black. It's tight and pinches the skin beneath the painful. Remove the bandage. Ha, that feels better. What are they doing to me while I'm conscious? What they are hoping to carefully inspect the chest. I'm not bleeding. Looks like I'm fine underneath. Wonder why she bothered putting it on me. Put the back bandage in pocket and leave. Hmm. Can you do something with those things? Yes? Can you get the thing out of me? I think it's unlikely. Even the parameter that stretch removal will be fatal. 
Gladys is manipulating you. It's not that simple with me. So let me out, fake my death. I'm doing everything I can for the greater good. Just promise me I'll, you'll try and keep me alive. Of course, I'll promise you that. Please tell me about who you really are. I suppose I owe you that much. Let's start. I'm a scientist, but there aren't many scientists like me. Because of your kind. Excited, but Clarissa doesn't care about what society says my kind are fit for. You ever worry she's taking advantage of you? Of course it's causing my mind, but I get what I want from this deal too. And if she is, at least she doesn't rub into my face. Nice, but you are still working for a criminal. Is it that simple? The apes are the biggest crooks in the city and they are in charge. Clarissa does more for people like me than the apes have ever done. Clarissa kills people and sells their flesh to the apes. What are you talking about? Why should... Why would she do that? For her own gain, for power. Even if that's true and that, if it's that simple, I'm sure she has good reason for it. Whoa, you are in love with her. Maybe, but I remember what my life was like before her. I felt like I was a slave to society. I actually understand. I just wish there was another way. I know, me too, for both of us. Leave me the fuck alone. As you wish. Ah. I need to resist this fuck. I wonder if I'm gonna get something that will cover like the nose to not uh, uh, smell the gas. I like that I don't pass out. Or even like pretend. Yes, Miss Bloodworth? The artifacts respond to the tests, yes, of course. I'll be very careful. God damn. At least the uh, Hennet uh, sent a letter through the geezer and we responded to that, which like that she knows what happened to us. But we couldn't say where we were. It was all for nothing. The act of existence is enough. There is only one change. Well, there is only change. What are we becoming? One with the past incarnation of self. One with the visions of the future never leave it. One with the myriad of identities we have chosen. Those that were chosen for us. I need to get out today. I refuse to die here. Sink. Soaked bunch in the water, yeah. Maybe this will help now that what I should do. Listen, come on. I know you are there. How are you feeling? What do you think? I can only imagine. In any case, please get ready for the next round of tests. We'll start soon. We don't blame you for this, thank you all. I wasn't asking for forgiveness, but I'll be lying if I said I wasn't relieved to hear that. Please try and hit, it's important. Ponder the foot. Look in the sky, it's good. Whatever happens, I need to make sure the guys don't knock me out. Dinner tray. My weapon of choice. Vent. The guys will start leaking out any moment. Maybe I could tie the wet bandage over my mouth like a mask, maybe I'll stuff the soaking badge into the vent. I think the second one. If it's tight around my mouth and nose, it will feel effective at blocking the gas part because I'm having some time. Hopefully, this works. I don't feel too bad. I sure hope this works. I could pretend to be uh, unconscious.
Oh no, don't! Bell, stop! How are you, Coach? Did that fact somehow? We don't want to die. I know you must hate me, but please don't hurt me. There is no hurt. You don't have much time left. I think you should know that. Tell mom that we loved her. Find Rene. That's all that matters. Okay, you'll need these keys to get out of here. We want to see the test results. It won't help. It mostly rolled out and they need to analyze compare. We need to see them. The files are on the computer over there, Howard. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we can see the... I don't understand any of this shit. Where is the computer that we can see the result? He said that was over there, I thought it was this computer. Test the test day one. First suite of tests able to work towards an understanding of patient's psychological state to pain threshold and response. Initial test conclude patient has far higher broad pain tolerance and than average subjects, along with a massive spike in aggression hormones. Full data range below. Day two. This set of tests aim to establish a basic framework for understanding the artifacts effect on healing factors and motor control. Our initial conclusion is that in this subject at least the artifact has rapidly begun breaking down certain neural pathways while straining certain parasymp parasympathetic nervous system. Day 3. Aims of the first test suite will be to isolate RNA and DNA functions and relationship. If patients do not survive, we will perform autopsy and attempt to contain the artifact for further study. Read me. Are you are you me? Are we us? Are you what are you are? Are you are? Are you are? Am I who? Am I who? Am I who? Well? Brain dump. Look into extent data on psychosis trauma linked to neuropathy, correlation. Tesis. Psychosomatic impact on artifact. Also study effect of immune response to common virus of those exposed to extra wall environment compared to intra wall. CTS immunosuppressant effect. Why? We are, we are, we are. Test day 3040. Test continue. There are not many of us left. Time is running out, but hope preserve. I preserve. We cannot let the line hand here. Change is powerful to annihilation. We are all change. Our genes are, we are. We are, we are, we are, we are. Observation zero. It was bizarre seeing the growth today. It sits on the subject's shoulders like a hoodie or something. Today's test proved that his pain tolerance is well above average, and I believe it. He's been walking around with that thing on him for days and he still hasn't dropped it. It's a shame we couldn't track the effect it has on him from the start and sometimes I wonder how much of that tolerance is him and how much is the artifact. Observation 1. Soldier seems to be suffering nightmares. He groans, twists and turns, even whispers to himself in his sleep. I guess he's, if he's sleeping at all, like he's having an imaginary argument with himself. Observation 2. He might not have much time left. Even if I were to let him out, he won't last long. In a way, he's better off here. Of course, he doesn't seem that way. Yes, we are. Observations free. We are wasting time here. These numbers are and letters are inconsequential. We must go. We must be calm. We must be... Note. His name is Howard. I don't know why I wanted to mark that down, but I felt compelled to... We, to his name is Howard. Right. We don't have as much time for what he, it said in those no observations. He doesn't say how much. That's the problem. Act 5. Epilogue. Epilogue? Epilogue? <laughs> Epilogue. <laughs> Hello Clarissa. Good evening. I will be quick. Is the next day you still on track? Indeed. I haven't heard from you in a week. Anything on your mind? No. The delivery should be that. Cool. I must inform you that the most popular incident has occurred. Someone broke into my office. Any clues who could have tipped them off? Did they still anything important? So some papers, some pertaining to our partnership. Do you have any information concerning who could have done such thing? Perhaps your mate? Bajwa has been saving me for decks, it's impossible. Alright, I believe you. For now. Too first. If you hear something on the grapevine, let me know, please. This could impact us both. 
and stay safe. Goodbye, Clarissa. Have a wonderful evening, Minister. Oh, we are playing with Clarissa now, what the fuck? Uh, what? What the hell? Probably Howard will appear over here. Oh, Rene, they have Rene. I won't be intimidated, you know. I'm not trying to intimidate you. So being summoned at gunpoint is already all friendly. It was the only way I could get until you come. You're not used to people turning you down, are you? So, thank you, you can go. Fucking rat. How did you find me? There we go. So now we know it was Larry that uh, said where they could find Rene. Some junkie let slip your name to one of my dealers. Yep. Bullworth, you, ne you need to tell me what you know about Howard. He's infected with a DNA splicing organism. What organism? What do you mean? It changes your biology or kind from the inside. Uh, we don't know yet. I'm gonna say the third one. What? Where did it come from? My theory is that it was from beyond the wall. All that matters is that the apes no longer have it. I don't know. The same means found it. Say the third. Fuck, Clarissa. Please, just tell me what happened to our. Do you hurt him? Uh, he escaped, but you didn't follow him. He's alive. Where? I think he is. We could look for him, you and I. You're not that fucking smart if you think I'll do anything with you. Is this why you brought me here? You're going to help me. I knew you were crazy, but uh, you think I want to work with a mob boss that goes by with the ruling elite to hit the innocent? And uh, I have ended that whole business. Business? It's people's lives. They were not great people. Rapists, abusers, wife beaters. Uh, it helped me control the apes. Yeah. You are a murderer. I didn't kill just anyone. They were rapists, abusers. Even scum doesn't serve to be eaten. It's done. What matters is our next step. Go to prison. That's our next step. Th that's next step. I read your book and you have proved you're not afraid of the apes. I'm gonna say the first one. Oh, I'm afraid of them. Now more than ever. I want to bring down the apes and their wall. Excuse me? And I need someone to steer up the revolution. You. You'll be in charge of intelligence police. Not the second one. Are you out of your fucking mind? No, just fears. You and I might be the only sane people in the city. Maybe. That's the second one. Do you mean to literally bring down the wall? The wall is stifling us. We are the king inside of it. It's a waste of resource and symbol of fear. Second one. The wall is there for a reason. There is nothing but death beyond it. The apes are exploring out there. It's safe. What? What are you saying? People can live out there by their own rules. And you know this house? The tech house that infected the water. It was found there. Oh, and. I had a tunnel built, comes out far, far away from the wall. I can take you there if you would like. I don't understand. You were working with the apes. How excited do you think things will improve when they are not in power? Women won't have to murder their way into life of comfort. People are dying from power, women are dying at the hands of men. I read your book, you know the answer. They won't be you around, that's enough. I can't really argue with that. Stack of one. That was just give military and police the excuse they need to hit back even harder. People will die violently. I've caused cracks in their ranks already. They can be widened. They are loyal to power. We'll show them who really has it. Yeah. It's a lofty ambition for a murderous drug beam. You already have power and why risk it on something like this? It's not real power. I want real thing. Freedom. I'll just be helping install you as dictator. No, I want others to step up. And what's in for me? I risk everything by trusting you. What do you expect me to forgive you? You get a chance to change the world. Maybe for worse. Or maybe change to me no longer being in need. Have you considered you might be delusion? Uh, I'm sure many have called you that, but you didn't listen. Things are getting worse quicker than you think. Yeah. Well, but love, this has been delightful. Can I go now or was there something else? I'm gonna say the first one. And if I miss the deadline, then I'll leave you alone and 
I thought you made the right choice. Polo, I still think you are a convenient piece of shit. But I'm not saying no. Be sure I'll tell you my thoughts one day, or one way or another. I'm gonna say the second one. This is the biggest decision of your life. <clears throat> I wonder what she's gonna decide. I think she's gonna decide to to help. But it is cool that you play with Clarissa now. Uh, but it it was Larry. But Larry didn't tell Clarissa. He, he told to a dealer th that worked to Clarissa. That's how she knew. And at last, it's been easy to get a table for two white Torsia that to get a hold of you. The invitation is still up, by the way. The oysters are like hard to die for. Something came up personal. What was so important you couldn't even speak to me? How the latest draft of the chapter might the pardon coming along the way? Let's just say things have become clear to me. My girl, I'm glad to hear it. I, I knew if I kept the light touch, you'll find your muse again. When can I read the new edits? When you write them yourself. I'm not sure I understand whether you are making a joke or suffering from one of your episodes. I must say I'm in no mood for games today. I had a better offer. I quit. You can be serious. The others know not to poach on another project. You can tell me who it was. You know, I'll protect you. Or we can discuss the pay. If money is not the issue here, I need freedom. Hene, you are nothing without me. You had one failed book, and now you have a chance for greatness. You will never have someone like me on your side again. Uh, with you, I'll just be a pop, but chasing after scraps of recognition. Yeah, yeah. And you still are. I hope you enjoy your child's new fancy while it lasts and while you last. For whatever comes next, I'm ready. Ready? Don't make me laugh. You are a pampered failure writer with no idea how the world really works. We'll soon see. Now you play with uh, Gene. Well. Howard's letter. How was that to me? He didn't say where he was. Perhaps he didn't know. Think about the note. Maybe I could stand, still find him. You didn't serve this, my friend. Maybe at least he knew I was looking for him. Fuck our. Why didn't you come back to me yet? What do you think about what offers our? I wish I could ask you. Who knows, maybe there are some others and I will find them. Is it all my fault? I convinced him to go to Science City, made him feel it was our last chance. Not my fault, he had so the same information as me. It's my fault, so I have to make him proud. Nah, nah I'm not gonna say my fault. Either way, I'll finish what we start. Make tea, of course. The black tea. The same one he made for me. We share only a couple of days together. Yet everything reminds of me. I miss him. We had a real connection. It's rare. It's gone now, maybe forever. But he gave me hope that things could be different. That there is future. I will hold on to it. So Paul is like making the decisions with these uh, characters. Clarissa. Uh, René. Making what you what you want. Call Howard's mom. It's my dirty wing it like you always did. Fuck, come on. Hello, who is this? Ellen Lauter, my name is Hedy Wilson. This is concerning your son. Tell me about uh, her son, what happened. It's like she doesn't know if he's alive or not, right? But she's like saying that uh, he's missing, you know. It's probably something bad happened to him. But basically it's like making the choice, instead of being, you know, the computer alone making, it's you making the choice for, for that, what you want to happen for that. We are here. We are all preserved. What's used in the filication? The end is built into the beginning. We come into existence and then we come out of it. We are a collection of dreams and mistakes. Scrapbook of a person, tapestry of scars and eyes wide open. What become of it? What happened to us all? We survived, we kept on. Separate ourselves into items and pulled by the threads of origin. Follow the path from the moment of conception and up until the knownness. What do we see?
Hmm. A fly side speaks again. The constellation of past forms and, li and leaves not yet leave it. Things that happen, things that are bound to happen. A homing harmony of a being perpetually becoming. We are at peace. When the landscape of the past and future in it dies in complexity, it is laid out in front of us. What will our choice be? There is no choice. The choice is made. We become and we preserve. We change. We can't escape the pain. Let the pain become us. Revel in its beauty. We change, but we change nothing. Somewhere. This should be outside the wall. Right, it should be outside the wall. Because it says somewhere, and I, I will imagine this like outside the wall, like it has to be. Because if it isn't, like it's a place that got all fucked up. But she said that they, they could live outside the, um, the wall, how the hell they could live. Right, it's like, it looks like a desert. It's like it's appearing like a city? Is that the city? No, no, it's like destroyed, like ruins. Yeah, it's like ruins. Probably that's where like the the girls could be uh, and stuff like that. You know, the that deal. Uh, how is a help to pass through the wall that was founded by Clarissa? They could be in these ruins. How they will survive? I don't know. Like again, looks like a desert. How they how they could get food? You know, water. How they will get that? Oh my God. Oh, that cover our, our, our body now. Wait, did he gain spine? Yeah, it looked like he gained a, a spine, like he covered our, our body and then like a spine because it looked like a uh, like a skeleton and the only thing that looked like it was a, a spine. But it looks like it's like a, an opening for a sequel. But, but like, the, the problem is that it won't be with uh, our world, because he, he looks like he's gonna transform into a mutation, so it won't be f uh, with our world. And the other ones, they don't have like an opening, right? Like Clarissa and Rene, it's like, okay, let's go make a, a revolution, you know, like destroy the wall to live outside, but even outside, it doesn't look like a place they could live, because where they will get food, water. That's the problem, but you never know. It's it's a little bit weird how the game starts. You know, it's like okay, we are to try to find that guy, but then it's, we see that he was uh, cut in pieces, and then it goes out to this uh, thing, this alien stuff or whatever it is that uh, pos that possessed our. It's a little bit weird how it goes the story. It's a little bit weird. What it happens. I like the rest, like graphic wise, uh, the the dialogue that you have between uh, Rene, uh, Clarice, and all the others trying to figure it out who who snitch the where Rene was, you know, things like that. It's always cool to to try to figure it out. But then the the end part, you know, when he gets that dark thing in top of him, it's like why the hell they went for that? You know, it's like, what is the decision for that? Okay, oh, because they are trying to make something, but... You know, that decision is like... And then the ending... It leaves a lot of uh, a lot of questions, like, what happened to him? Did he transform into something? Is it an opening for a, a sequel? Is it supposed to end like that? You know, there's many questions. 
you know, sometimes there's games that they, they ask, they have an opening, right? But you have the, the answers for the first one, you know? In this one, you have only certain answers to certain things, but many others uh, questions still remain open. And it's like, is that supposed to be because they want to do a sequel? You never know. That's the, that's the problem. While other games, they close everything and you have like then, of course, an opening to do a, a sequel, nothing else, it's, it's not even an, a, a, a big question, nothing like that. It's like, okay, you know, okay, that's a, an opening. And it, it will be a different story. While this one is like, what happened to him? Uh, is it safe to be outside the wall? What happened to the girls? They say that they they went outside to w the wall. At least they say it's possible to live outside the wall. Is everything true? Because you are, uh, I think we are outside the wall and it doesn't look like. So that's why I'm saying like, it answers some questions, but there are other ones that it didn't do nothing. Like it even make more, even more questions. So if they are, if they are planning to do a sequel, hopefully it uh, it answers those questions. But the problem is going to be hard is how go they're gonna make it to for you to play with outward if it gets like now transformed into something. That's going to be the problem. Are they gonna make like are they secure and you we can fix you up? It's like isn't that like a little bit forced? You know? So I wonder. I wonder. But like it's like you can beat it in four in four hours. I understand why people some people say the price, you know, things like that. But that's something you have to realize, like it's an indie company. Yeah, they went for Kickstart, you saw the Kickstart over there. But still like the time that it took for them to make the game, the graphic style, the dialogue, uh, you know, uh it's normal that sometimes these indie games, they ask a little bit, uh, the price can be higher for the, the longevity of the game, because it's uh, like the budget that they have, it's not always that big and they probably want to make a, in the future a bigger game and so they want to see if they can get more, a little bit more money to make that big project, I don't know. And it's like, there's other games that they cost more than you know, 22 bucks or something like that, and they are trash, like you have Cyberpunk, right? If you buy Cyberpunk, like it was what, 60 bucks, 50 bucks, I don't know on Steam, I don't know how much it was on PC. Like, if you pay for that crap, you can pay for this, this is way better than that. So it's like, if you pay for that, you can pay for this. That's the problem, people, when they go immediately for Indies, they saw, they see a, a price, they are like, oh, that's that's a bad price. That's a bad price. It, people can't forget. Indies they have a limited budget, and then they try, want to try to get back as quickly as possible that budget. While people accomplish, even if they don't make that money back, the publishers can help them with the money. You know, they have always the the, the bigger guys to help them. While while these indie developers they don't have nobody like that. So they have to make the qu the money fast. I understand, like for hours, twenty two bucks is not a good price to ask, but still, like uh, the work that they did and things like that, it's like it helps. But you like there's even triple games that are like very small. Like uh, even if for hours you can beat and you pay sixty bucks, and I don't see nobody comp uh, comp uh, complying against that. They say okay, if the graphics they uh, they voice acting. They think it's like okay, this game doesn't have voice acting. Okay, that's the only thing that is missing. I think it will help the voice acting this game uh, in my opinion. But at the same time, it like paying to voice actors to give voice to your game and making a good choice of voice actors always takes time and it costs money it costs money to make that it's nobody no voice actor goes for free 
you know, nobody goes for free. They always need a certain amount of money to go to give their voice to the game. Like nobody, oh, I, I like the game, I'm gonna give for free. No, fuck that. They always ask for money. So, well, it's always better to put the, the budget into making the game, graphic wise, good gameplay, a good story, a good music. And if there's no money for voice acting, fuck it. It's like that. That's what you need to focus on. A good story, a good gameplay, uh, optimize the game well, uh, if possible do a demo or prologue here and there to get feedback from the players. And if there's money, then you go for voice acting. If not, fuck it. Fuck it. You are indie, you don't need to have voice acting. If you have, it's always a plus, but you don't need to have. You don't. Mini games are like that, you don't need to focus on voice acting. It's a plus, but not uh, necessary. Because uh, voice acting you need to cast to see, okay, does this voice is good for this character, for this, for this, for this? Is it not? Why is not? You know, things like that. So. There's a lot of things behind that. It's not oh, this guy, the cheapest one. Come over here. No, it's not like that. But yeah, uh, yeah overall, it's a good game. The hand part is a little bit confusing. It leaves more questions than answers, unfortunately. I don't know if, there's, if they planned a sequel or not when they were doing this game. Uh, they didn't say nothing about it. They don't even. They didn't reply to say, ah, yes, we have. Uh, we plan to do a sequel, so that's why it ends how it ends. They never say nothing about that, so it's like... Who knows, right? Who knows? But if you like uh, a game like this, where you there's a stealth, you know, things like that, but there's more, it's like more dialogue, more narrative, where you, you make some cho choice here and there, uh, then you, you're going to enjoy it. came out on uh, PC and I think on console, I think on Switch. I don't know if it came out on uh, PlayStation 4 or not. I think it come out, came out on Switch. I don't have 100% sure if it came out on, uh, on the other platforms. Game Pass, Game Pass, that's it. I think it came out on Switch, but I don't have 100% sure. But on Game Pass, Game Pass that is Xbox, right? I think it's that. It's that. So, but yeah. Hope you enjoy here the Tour of Backbone. If you like games like this, you can buy it. It's already available for 22 something bucks. Uh, so, yep, yeah, hope you enjoy and see you guys tomorrow or Friday. It will depend because tomorrow there is uh, Summer Game Fest and stuff like that. And I, I, will, I want to see what games they announce in there, things like that. So, it will depend tomorrow or Friday that I will be back.